Hey, hello everyone, just a second. Kostya, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Hello there. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, everything is going great. Um, yeah, this is Kostya Kavutsky, one of the trio running gang of the Chess Dojo, Chess Dojo Live, and the creators of the um, Ultimate Sensei. <laughs> that's right that's right that was uh that was a fun time thank you uh arthur i guess for for the folks in our channel this is a uh, grandmaster arthur snakes on he's a streamer actually we've got a follow command if you guys want to follow his channel oh uh, he right. does a lot of streaming um you can go check him out over there just twitch.tv slash gm nixons we got a sub battle this is uh this is great i always love these they're a lot of fun Right, right. Yeah, so this is definitely something I was looking towards for quite some time because uh, for me, uh, the Ultimate Sensei was quite an amazing experience for, what what was it? I mean, over six weeks, was it? Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, six weeks. It was revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely look forward to see this, the next season. I don't know, are you planning to do this or not next time? We're we're very close. We actually, we need one more coach. Okay. Um, okay. The players are going to be 1,400 to 1,600. Right. And uh, yeah, we're like, we're re really very close. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Right, okay. So uh, maybe I'll, um, I'll explain the rules of the sub battle. Um, so obviously it's only subs who can participate and uh, we have prepared a very nice spreadsheet uh, which was created by Irv. He's one of my uh, channel mods and actually another Latvian. <laughs> so that's quite interesting. And um, so I propose to do this. Hey Irv, there you are. He's here in the chat. Hey man. Oh, nice. Yeah. So he is the author of the spreadsheet. And by the way, Irv. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, listen, listen to Kostya, what can you I'm say? <laughs> big fan. <laughs> big fan of the spreadsheet. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that, that was like, but I've saw it for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> great. So, so what I suggest to do is <laughs> people, please mention that you want to play in the sub battle. Please state you want to play that you're ready and your chess.com nickname so that we can uh, prepare the spreadsheet and start the match without waiting for too long. So just a second, all right. And yeah, uh, yeah I, I think I saw GM5 Conger there in the list. Uh, on my side? No, or... no, no, on my side, on my oh, yeah. side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's GM5 Conger. Birds. Okay, maybe I'll just check without uh, announcing loudly. Or maybe should I? I don't know. Okay, Bird Smith. Irv promised he's gonna play for me. Uh, there are no is here. All right. Uh, 
Hey, Anexia, how comes you're not a sub? <laughs> yeah, Irv will play. Oh, Irv is in my chat. Oh, hey, Irv. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, um, Dor, if you're watching, if you can handle the predictions for these games, that would be very helpful. <laughs> Our channel loves to loves to bet. Oh, should I be like clicking um, check marks, Arthur? Yeah, yeah, you should uh, check in your uh, player roster team. One player check, just select the players who are ready to play and the system should automatically uh, bring them in. Okay, cool guys. So if you're watching in the uh, the dojo chat and you're, you're ready to play, um, we're gonna start with the higher boards first. So 2200 and then working our way down. Uh, just let me know your chess.com username. If you sign up in Discord, I put your usernames in, but I don't know if you're like actually here watching and like ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, what if they're only available for some time? Hmm, then we unfortunately won't be able to wait, but it might not work out. Yeah, it, it, it's difficult because last time we, we did, we were trying, we were waiting for one player for something like one hour, then another got upset <laughs> about it. <laughs> so yeah, probably won't avoid this. Yeah. Um, but Dripman, by 10.30, I mean, you have good chances to get your game in. Yeah, so I'll, I'll check you in. That's like 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Cardi Tank got you. Yaye got you. Senior Jesus gotcha. Well, but where are my subs? I mean, those who said they're going to be here, only half of them have showed up at the moment. Okay, I guess we, we are going to have to wait. No worries. Um, yeah, Dor, when you play, you'll um, we'll make a prediction for you. No worries. Let me fix my screen. Hello, Bostonator. How are you? Oh, Marco. Hello. I guess you're ready to play, right? Hey, Hex. Okay. More players are showing up. That's good. Great. Marco, Marco, where are you? All right, Marco is here, and Hex was blocks, right? Yeah, I already sort of remember. I mean, I'm supposed to know that, I guess. The chat.com nicknames of my subs. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's helpful when it's just the same as their Twitch. It's like, wow. Yeah, that's, that's helpful. Twitch viewer. <laughs> that's, that's helpful. Yeah, but. Some people even have like the same Discord, Twitch, and chess.com. Yeah, makes sense. Yes, Mark already found you where you are. Thank you. Oh, you have yeah, just gains. Just gains. That sounds awfully, awfully familiar. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> From the ultimate yeah, sense. Yeah, one of the competitors. That's good. Oh, by the way, I should have invited Michael or Dylan. Because we have quite a bit of cooperation with them. I mean, I was coaching Michael in the mm -hmm. Ultimate Sensei, and I forgot mm -hmm. to ask him. I should. I should have. Uh, just a second. Maybe I can text him. So, no, guys, you won't have to challenge your opponents. We're going to start the games for you. And um, there is no... Um, bottom we're just going to see like who's available from both teams and tr just try to get as many uh equal matchups as we can so if there's someone in your rating range then uh you'll hopefully get an opponent but so far on my list guys i got chess gains door max Hardier, dripman yay 73 clark and uh senior jesus Actually, let me add Meaning Wave and Forsooth Plays was also here. 
Oh, you have already pretty much everybody lined up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. For some reason, it's not showing. Okay. Oh, we could use a player between 1,000 and 1,100, guys, if there's anyone I missed. Birdsmith is asking uh, which city is just dojo based. Uh, well, I am in uh, Northern California, as is David Pruis, but Jesse, he's on the East Coast. Uh, so he's around uh, Baltimore. All right. I'll pretend I know where it is. <laughs> I mean, I know some basic US geography, but uh, not too well. Uh, I see at least one player who said who is going to be there. He is not still here uh, for me, for my team. Oh, no worries. Oh, it looks like we need one more board at the bottom for our uh, standings. <laughs> Marcus says we are based in Riga. <laughs> I like that. Marco himself is, is from Croatia, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, oh, I mean, he's my sub. I'm just oh, sorry. <laughs> talk to, talking to Marco. So. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, my subs, where are you guys? I'm relying oh. on you. Yeah. Uh, like Aeon picked this, I'll put you in. Um, let's see. Birdsmith is from London. Okay. Na, 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 na. Anexia, what's your rating? Are you still there? Uh, yeah, Leafy. Actually, there is a player on the other team around um, a thousand or so that needs an opponent. So I think I think we can get you in. Uh, we'll be one game at a time, guys. That's right, starting from yep. the top boards. Yeah, one game at a time. Oh, and Arthur, we need an extra board at the bottom here of our standings. Oh, I need a lot of boards. You can see right now, I mean, they're still missing. <laughs> no, I mean um, in the uh, the battle tab. Oh, oh, just a second. I can fix that. I can fix that. So how many boards do we have? It is... Um, I, I can't count. Something like 11, right? Oh, uh, let's see. I see... 13, including the under 13, that's wow, 1, that's a lot. All right. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be visible. Mm. Um, Earth fixed it. Thank you, Earth. Uh, Earth fixed it already. Okay. <laughs> this guy's legend. <laughs> yeah, he is. All right. Now, when people do spreadsheet things, it's like the equivalent of when I do chess things for like normal people. <laughs> They're like, wow, how did you do that? <laughs> oh, there are my subs. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, it would be cool to get an opponent for Max. Yeah, he'll, he'll have definitely. He'll have it. Hey, Sandra. Okay, one more sub showed up. That's good. Here we go. Oh, Marco, I think I already put your name, didn't I? Oh, for some reason, uh, you cannot see that. Oh, what is this? Just a second. 
Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry about that, Marco. It's some weird glitch. Hey, Woody, I'll have to write you on the list. Listen, man, I'm missing players here. You have to play. You have to play. No excuses. No busy mid Friday stuff. Please tell me you're available. <laughs> I guess he's not available. Oh, bummer. You have to work. Yeah, somebody has to work, I guess. And there is in your rating slot. Hey, CJ Rebecca, are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? We will gladly input you on the list, but please tell me your chess.com nickname. What it is, because I don't have it in the spreadsheet. We'll include you, of course, gladly. Yeah, so like uh, Kostya said, oh, it's CJ Rebecca. Okay, just a second. Like Kostya said, we are gonna start the games ourselves. Uh, just a second. Oh, what was it? CJ Rebecca. All right. Sorry, Birdsmith, you just were moved up. Ed, I think, was also a sub, but... Hey, Ed, what's your... Ed, hey, okay, I see that. One more sub is there. Yanko Raskol just sub. Thank you. Thank you for that. Just a second. I'm going to include you guys. Okay, so my subs are slowly lining up. That's good. And Yanko Krasko, are you ready to play as well? If you are, please say your chess.com nickname. Okay, that was very original. It's the same. <clears throat> All right. So how many players is it? Still missing one, two, three players. <laughs> it's funny actually because I initially I was planning. I mean, fifteen is too much. So let let's do it this time. Something like ten, ten, and we are back to fifteen in the end anyway. So almost. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're almost there. Yeah. Um, almost. We have actually an extra 2200 that can fill in for your side, if you'd like. I'll gladly accept, of course, because as you can see, we are um, missing somebody. Yeah, who is it? If he, if he agrees, of course, I'll accept him. But but he'll have to play fair. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> gifting, no gifting for the cause. We, we had some suspicion about that <laughs> oh my <God>. last time. <laughs> I've always shocked when people even suggest like oh maybe they're gonna play for our team and like like wow <laughs> just like, <laughs> amazing um no no i i can't imagine him uh not wanting to do everything to win <laughs> good, good. uh yeah his name is uh, uh ranked yeah if you want to go over uh, archer's uh chat uh yeah if you could go please to my chat i'll add you what was what was the nickname again uh ranked Ringed. R I N Q E D. Ringed. Yeah, if you could go here, maybe I could. Um... 
We need oh, Jabama. Sorry. Okay. The um, I'm sorry. I, I'll give you his Twitch name. His uh, chess.com name is uh, Tal's uh, Tactician. Pretty sure I can't spell that. Yeah. Let me. Um, maybe he can type it in your chat. I can. Oh, can I paste it in your group? Um. Two. Oh, yeah, you, I think you can do that, actually. Or you're just not put, supposed to, but you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> just put them in um, group two down here. There we go. Dal, mm. it's Dal Station, right? Uh, actually, we asked him last time. I don't remember which one. I think it's... Tal's tactician. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, I misspelled it. Tal's tactician. I'm, I apologize about that. <laughs> no, I, it could be the other one, actually. I don't remember. Because Tal when they have these long combined nicknames, I always misspell them. I always misspell them. So, Yeah, it's very easy. I remember um, one, yeah, of my, one of my subs was Typical King. Uh, names combined, I, I was spelling him differently completely. It just didn't occur to me. It's Typical King. Hmm. Uh, GM500 against you will definitely we have somebody we need. Uh, for oh, some... it looks like our side we need a 1900 player. All right, or any 1900s. For some reason, my list is not updating. I just don't get it. Why? Ah, okay, okay, I see that. Okay, two players, two players, GM500. At the moment, is looking for a player, and uh, the same applies for for your team, Makshmilek, and Meaning yeah. Wave. Right. Um, hey, Ring. maybe we could start the first couple of games. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess we I guess we can do that, and uh, then move to the lower boards. So. So just a second, I. So here's the here's the thing, guys. I mean, please. Do not challenge yourself. Please do not challenge yourself. We're gonna do it for you, and um, I have some mighty powers, and Costa has it as well. I mean, he come, he confessed, he confessed, <laughs> he has them, and um, we we are gonna start the games for you. So the first game is chess games against Tal's tactician. I hope I spelled it correctly. So I hope uh, we can run the first two games and then um, slowly people will show up. And I'm I think I'm ready to start the tournament. Is chess games or Tal's uh, Tal's tactician? Are they ready? Let's see. I yeah I saw Max earlier in the chat. Max, are you around? Ready to play? Oh, ringed. You're right. Okay, you're ready. Okay, see that. Thank you. Yeah, I love the uh, the, the commands are just available on the side. That's yep. a nice touch. Yep. Okay, Max is ready. Cool. All right, starting the game now. Can you can you follow it? Yeah, got it. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's good. Yeah. And Marco says correctly, the players probably need to mute themselves. Otherwise, we are going to tell them advanced stuff or maybe just gains and tall tactics they don't need it. Um, yeah, hopefully they they are aware that, <laughs> that they should mute the stream. Although I do feel like it's often not helpful. I'm often suggesting blunders, just pure blunders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Wow, F five. F five. Yeah, well, this is quite a weird French. French with e six and knight c six, was it? Yeah, this looks like the line Lawrence Trent was playing against uh, Danny Wrench in their match over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this weird knight c six. Yeah, did you hear? By the way, Lawrence's ambition to become a grandmaster. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's got like two GM norms, so I feel like he's. Yeah, he's in pretty good shape. Yeah, I think he'll manage. So yeah. What about you, by the way, Kostya? Uh, I have no norms, but I do have I do have ambitions. That was the plan last year to play some GM norm events. Uh, prior um, COVID, of course. Yeah, yeah. So 
one got canceled and then of course everything did um but uh, yeah when tournaments start to back up like that's going to be the plan to like play some serious events again mm -hmm. 9b4 c3 i'm not so sure about the c3 move from uh chess gains because i wouldn't really say that knight x on d3 was an actual threat but okay i mean still but solid yeah that's funny he could have just left it there or even played a3 yeah like a3 for example not just <laughs> to go back but okay wow that's funny huh i wonder if that's kind of a known trick yeah this is like my first time really seeing this line but so far it's worked out beautifully for black i mean now it's yeah it's likewise i guess typical idea is something like a5 bishop a6 but white is enjoying some space advantage yeah yeah, actually, I, I was expecting a5 there right away. Hey, Satafsha, if you're ready to play, please mention it. We can include you in the list of the players because we're still missing some players. Please state your rating in the, in the chat and we could add you. Yeah, you'll need to play. <laughs> you'll need to play. F4. I don't like this move really. Yeah. I felt that this knight had to be challenged from F3, uh, from E4 square. Yeah, F4 is odd. I mean, he played knight D2. So it seems like he wanted to trade. Why not play F3 and force it? Right. Yeah. Mm. So something like F3, knight E2, bishop D2, then knight goes to F4. You act with some card, the dark square bishop. But okay. Should be, should be. Still fine. Saptavsha said his rating is about 1,000. We have a lot of players around 1,000. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> we are still looking for some players in the rating diapason of uh, 1,800 up to 1,900 and 1,600 up to 1,700. Queen d7. Yeah, but b5 was immediately possible, which is a nice trick. I see oh, you mean out. queen b5 and bishop a6. Okay, so yeah. after queen b3, a4, queen goes away. Yeah, yeah, but queen d7 is also a fine move. Oh, just a second, you pl play now a4. I was having this idea before bishop a6 to play a4. Uh, that would have been very annoying. Something like a3, bishop a6, queen a2. <laughs> Yeah, and then bishop d3. <laughs> yeah, then bishop d3, b5, bishop c4, and the queen goes to a1. Yeah, that would yeah. be interesting. Okay. <laughs> I guess another tournament, another life. Uh, I'm pretty sure that black here is bare. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it looks great for black. Mm -hmm. Something like c5, rook d8, maybe bishop d3, challenge the pawn on d4, although white is very solid. And uh, this is actually, I really like uh, this uh, time control of 3 plus 2, because it feels mm -hmm. that the players can play more quality chess. I mean, it probably cost you, you agree, I mean, playing something like 3 plus 0, it's a completely different world, I mean... <laughs> Mm, then three plus two yeah then three plus two definitely yeah oh 100 percent. it's totally different game yeah yeah um yeah when i play three zero it's like you know i'm just thinking about the clock as soon as we're like under two minutes i'm like already okay <laughs> <laughs> like <time>. planning <laughs> Ooh, b5 b5 i don't like this move oh, okay we looks like we got a 1900 player um yeah let me know your um chess.com username tricky is it tricky drizzle b3 9b3 okay great thank you all right we got a player for board three all right so you have your entire squad lined up we're still missing two players if there's somebody in the 18 kind 19 kind category we need your help. Hey, Sandra, happy Lunar New Year. What Lunar New Year? Is today a Lunar New Year? I think I think I heard something like that. Maybe really? Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year, but Lunar. Be. 
I, what's that? I didn't know that. Mm. I don't know. I'm probably going to say something <laughs> wrong. You're of the ox. I'm just going to read my, what my chat says so I can blame it on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're of the ox, apparently. Um, no, this is a thing. The, the Chinese calendar, like every year, it's like a different animal. Um, I forget what year I was. I was 1992. Anyone remember? I want to say monkey. Year of the monkey. Mm -hmm. Some people don't use Google. You got it. I, I don't use Google. Wow, Rook B1. Would you have traded there, uh, Arthur, on, on Rook A2? Um, yeah, I just slightly missed this moment. Rook A2, Bishop B3. That's an extra pawn, right? No, wait. What? That's an extra piece. Oh, yeah. So it's extra That's piece. an extra piece. <laughs> oh, and Tastactician wins. Okay. I mean, while we're all oh, talking nice about the, the Chinese year, we just missed this moment. We totally missed Rick takes A2. I did not see that happen. My bad. So Rick A2, nice tactic. Yeah, but here this uh, B3 was a very terrible blunder, unfortunately, for chess gains, because it blunders. A takes is impossible. There's a, there's a pin. And after 9B3, very cute tactic. Rook takes an A2, very cute. But I mean, still, why yeah. didn't have to take? I mean, you could just play something like uh, uh, Knight C5 or Rook B1. Yeah, so Rook, I'm not sure what was missed there, really. Mm, that's true, actually. Yeah, another move here. Um, maybe a3 also instead of instead of b3 no that's okay right no, you, you did your job that was a good game <laughs> it's all good <laughs> all right uh appreciate that i tactician for your help uh really do and um yeah i guess we can move on to the next game and hopefully in the um yeah thank you thank you appreciate that and the next game is gonna be Blocks is ready. Yeah, uh, door's ready as well. D Tom. All righty. Let me try to execute it. Starting in three, two, one. Start. Okay. Okay. Oh, I mean, this is smooth because I remember last time we were struggling. Struggling, I guess. Practice makes perfect. Nice. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I remember our first few sub battles, we were, um, yeah, it was always just a slog to get players. Look at this opening from, from door E4, G6, Knight F3, <laughs> Knight F6. Somebody got inspired Magnus by line. Magnus. Yeah, by <laughs> Magnus, I wanted to say. This is Magnus's line. Yeah, I think that this is, this is intentional. Uh, I think, I think door has been experimenting lately with some tricky openings. All right. Yeah, so, uh, and, now it's kind of like normal position. <laughs> some, yeah, some normal Alekhin's defense, exactly. Yet some, some modern Alekhin. I don't know what it is, really. Now, this right. is totally Alekhin's uh, position. Yeah. H3. And it feels like normal tempos. Although Black could have considered maybe F5 instead of bringing the knight back to. Instead of the knight F6. of 6, yeah. F5 and even a 4 or E5, yeah, that very much makes sense. But here, I think White as well made a slight mistake. Instead of the h3, which is a reasonable idea to stop 9g4, I think one of the common ideas is to push d5 and gain some mm -hmm. space advantage, something like bishop d4 or knight d4. And after h3, black normally plays here. Uh, maybe not here. d5, c5, and somehow rearrange the pieces. Yeah, so d5 is quite a common idea. Mm -hmm. here. So 97 g4 wow wow g4 so but then yeah that begs the question like where is white's king gonna go right long i guess yeah I guess but, that, but i like long. this i like this approach i mean it's very very aggressive uh, it stops the knight of five from happening yeah b6 is very logical mm-hmm and now, I don't know, I mean, there's a number of options at White's disposal. I hope, by the way, players, you're not listening to us, right? You're not supposed to listen. I mean, you have to play. <laughs> you're not supposed to listen to us. I mean, I could advocate something wrong. For example, play here, King D1. You're not going to play King D1, right? I hope not. It'd be really funny if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> or like King F1. That's Grishik's uh, patented move lately, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I've seen a lot of memes uh, lately. King F1, King F1. Yeah, people were so shocked by that as if it was the first time. I mean, that's happened like many times in these like uh, speech chess events. Right. <laughs> we got like mouse slips. Well, not in that position. No, I think I think I, I think actually the worst mouse slip was this uh, Magnus's mouse slip against uh, Nepomneshi, was it? Um, he was uh, playing in one of that uh, super tournaments, one of those online stuff mm -hmm. events, and he was completely winning. He just blundered the queen, something like that. Oh, the queen blunder! I think yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, those are tough. <laughs> okay, B three. Lox is going all out attack. Yeah, he's he's exactly doing what what you're describing there, Saptavshab. He's going for attack, h4, h5, knight a4, knight c5. Looks very interesting actually. Yeah, in the meantime, let me please remind we're missing some players still in the 1800, 1900 category, 1600, 1700. If you are willing to play, please say the word. I'll add you to the list. We still have time. Okay, bishop a6, good. I was waiting for this move from black. Um, because I feel like it's a really natural idea. Just trade off the light squared bishops and try to play against white's weaknesses. But the question here was what happens on knight a4? Yeah, knight a4, queen d6 is already the only move on bishop a4 looks so... Ooh, something is happening there. Something yeah. is happening there. I think this may be why Blank was starting to spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And he's thinking about this. Um, maybe he's also considering some kind of attack, but it might be slightly too slow, but at least it would be consistent. Something like h4, h5. Maybe even yeah. a position move like f3, king f2 is also possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not f4, c5 looks great, Saptavsha. <clears throat> Bishop f4, he played. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if that is a good move again. I'm, I mean, I did say that's a possibility, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, for example, what's happening after knight e4. Knight e4 and whatever, something like g5. There's so many moves. Yeah. The king is in the middle. He takes. So he's saying no, no discovery here for white. And he oh. goes for it, not upset. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> now this is going to be, a, you can play even knight e4. It's going to be co collation nightmare. So oh, many pieces. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> So knight of seven has been played. There are so many pieces hanging. Oh man, what's happening here? I'm a bit too lazy to calculate the <laughs> the line. Something like queen d7, knight c5. You can include even that move. <laughs> I do like this for uh, oh queen a3 sharp. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, all of all of Black's rooks are hanging. And bishop f3. <laughs> yeah, now bishop f3 might be strong. And then like ninety four stuff. Yeah, Bishop F three is very strong. And he takes no, this is a bad move. Yeah, this is a bad move. I think Bishop F three yeah. was very unclear. Now White is I guess winning. Yeah, but the, the time trouble is sending in, so it <laughs> feels like all four results are possible. Yeah, definitely. I mean sometimes we have to remember this that we are looking at this from uh, sort of like a very advanced level perspective. Oh, plus two seconds. I mean, that's more than enough. But uh, not everybody can play it uh, uh, so accurately yeah. when in time trouble. No, for sure. For sure. I, I would happily mess this up. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> yeah. Rook c8. Yeah, that's a tricky move. Queen b2, very accurate. Yeah. Keeping things in control. No. Yeah, Plux is totally controlling this game. Very high. Yeah, technique is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very good technique. 
Oh, bishop f3, the rook was hanging on b8. Oh, maybe that was why. There is bishop takes b8. Oh, he blunders the queen! It's gone. Oh. oh. Ouch. 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 But I mean, what was winning anyway? Yeah. So, all right. All right. I mean, for our team, this is a great start. Uh, but I remember we started exactly the same against Dina last time. Yeah, we were leading the score and then in the middle, blah, something like that happened and we we're trailing, <laughs> trailing very badly, very quickly. Yeah, congratulations. Nice. GG, GG, guys. He says, first time playing against the Norwegian rat. I didn't know that. Huh. Norwegian rat? Oh, the Norwegian rat. That makes sense. Really? I didn't know that. It's stuck like that. Norwegian rat. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Blocks, for your game. I'm going to, just a second, make preparations for the third game but again i would like to remind we're still missing two players because after gm500 we're missing two players so if you are a player in the 1800 and 1900 category please say the word and i'll add you to the list gm500 is ready what about uh, the smoke uh let's see yeah smoke are you in i think they were here but let's just confirm all right ready they are ready all right i'm starting the match in three two one go yeah no because the rat is a real opening it's like g6 bishop g7 and like c6 or c6 d5 i think that's the normal rat Mm -hmm. So the Norwegian rat is with like g6, knight f6. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Um, G500 is uh, uh, one of my uh, most loyal subs. So I'm super happy, super excited to see the playing here. He's gifted me a number of subs. And he's oh, been awesome. active. Yeah, he's been active in the community for a long, long time. So uh, very, very happy that he's here. Nice. I feel like I've seen his username before, and I always think I always think like GM. He, so he he might have actually <laughs> played against uh, just Dojo in this um, uh, streamer battle league. I'm not sure. I think so. I oh, think man. so. He played. I, I'm not sure because he was playing uh, for our team for a long time. And Nathan, what is your rating? Can you please confirm what is your rating? Oh, okay. We are looking for slightly higher rated players. 1000 up to 11 congress is pretty much everybody is already listed there yeah you can see we're still missing two players but we just started uh the match so that everybody else wouldn't have to wait ah that's your bullet okay So what's happening here is that uh, GM500 is doing... What is this? This is a thematical pawn sacrifice, right? For white? Very typical Catalan yeah. idea. Yeah, it feels pretty thematic now. Bishop d6 just trading off these bishops and just playing against black's light squared bishop. Maybe something like uh, 95 here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 95 is... Watch out for the rook. Yeah, 95 no. is a very common idea, but I think here... Uh, GM500 made a slight mistake with uh, a knight b4, which is, of mm. course, very active move, but I think more logical would be to put it on a5 if necessary because it protects the pawn on c4 and also is oh, jump, jumping somewhere to b3. I don't know. but uh, So this is the current position. Yeah, but this didn't feel like the right way for white. I think he was worried about black taking on c3, so he takes on d5. But... Mm -hmm. um, Kind of feels like you know he's just trying to like win the pawn back, right? He's not really playing for like the the compensation. Right. Hey, Lolly, what's your rating? I don't see you in the list. We can include you. Uh, let me check. Maybe I can. Uh... 
do it myself without his permission. <clears throat> 24! Oh, my man. I mean, where were you before? <laughs> we could have used you on the top board. Yeah, okay, okay. You missed the start, unfortunately. Oh, dear. I guess this means you'll have to play for Chess Dojo one, one, once at least. So this looks awfully equal, right? Somehow... Yeah, it looks like White was able to get the pawn back. Yeah, somehow White managed to regain the pawn, but I think I think GF5 Conquid was having some chances. Uh, H6, Knight H3, Bishop E6, Knight E4, some, something here, I think, was slightly misplayed. Yeah, Black definitely, I think, didn't have to give the pawn back. Could have played like Rook D8 or something mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah, but I guess he's still doing fine. Yeah, okay, inviting king and pawn endgame. Very risky. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> knows, looks fun. like looks like Black's king is, is close enough. So white avoids it. Yeah, it feels very drawish. But white is uh, slightly... I mean, I've seen these positions to be misplayed. I would be for <laughs> Why do you do that? Okay. <laughs> Why very don't ambitious. you take... <laughs> Why don't you take on B2? Yeah, once the time ticks down, I, I just think, yeah, absolutely anything can happen. Mm -hmm. I think a normal plan here for black is to play rook B2, position the rook on A1, push A4, A3, and try to get with the king somehow close to A2, but it's probably uh, still a draw. Rook c5, is that a blunder? No, it's not a blunder. g6 protects everything. Yeah. But sharp move. Now black has to. Oh. Hey, let in black. Yes, we need a player. We need a player. What's your chess.com rating? Please tell me and I'll add you to the list. Yes, we need. We need. Definitely. I remember you. Nice. We nice. were competitors last time. <laughs> About 1600, okay. Is that your chess.com nickname, Lady in Black? Yeah, 1600, that's good, that's good. That's very good rating for us. Okay, can you please tell me your chess.com nickname? Oh. It's the same. Okay. It's the same. All right. And we have one more player. So one player is just missing. One player is missing, guys. So in the meantime... No! GF500, what did you do there? Where's your pawn? He gave the pawn and oh. now it is... Well... Playing for the win, I, I it seems like. But, ooh, spend, he spent a lot of time on King E4. I don't like that. I think you just play h5 in that position and and then wait for black's next move <laughs> mm -hmm. g5 also okay reasonable mm -hmm. trying to create some pass pawns yeah at the moment we're missing one more play in the 18 hundred up to 19 hundred category and that's it we have our line of finished hey just some games oh just a second just a second uh, where are you where are you um uh, just a second buddy stay there don't run away stay there don't run away Alrighty. Oh, the the screen froze. Uh, please tell me your nickname, Chess and Games, on Chess.com. I'm gonna add you. 
I just give the UR sub so that we have a complete lineup. All right, yeah, just a second. I, I know I can't work in two fronts. All right. Okay, still winning. All right. Yeah, still winning, but um, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. And welcome to the club. We have our lineup finished. Uh, I just gifted one one sub. We have a player. So that um, and this is nice. somehow winning, right? Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I mean, my screen is lagging a little. Oh, no problem. Yeah, white is showing. I think really good technique so far. Black definitely could have drawn earlier. I think had a chance to like take one of white's pawns or trade off his C-pawn for one of White's kingside pawns, but he he missed this chance. And now I think White is really close, but I mean, these positions are always always possible to blunder. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and unfortunately, King H8 is gonna promote and... Right. No, he played this uh, end part really well, actually. <laughs> Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very quickly I'll revisit where he had the chances because my screen froze for a moment there. I think all of his problems started. Yeah, unfortunately, Jeff Congard loses. Sorry, sorry for that, my friend. Um, he had his chances definitely, but all of his troubles started when he blundered the pawn. At uh, this moment, uh, 30th move, instead of rook takes on b2, uh, simple g6 would have uh, been good enough just to protect the pawn but okay i mean uh, you fought well so thank you yeah gg right oh and we got a game for max cool right yeah we have a game for max yeah but i mean practice makes perfect you fought well gm 500 all righty let me check if uh max and Chess games live. Can you please, guys, confirm you're ready? Yeah, I think Max is ready. And chess games live. Are you ready? The biggest mistake for your GF have conquered was uh, blundering the pawn. I mean, and then probably was Drosh, but uh, yeah, move thirty. Chess and games live, where are you? Hello. Okay, you're here. You're here. He is ready. And I guess we can start, right? Three, yeah, let's do it. Two, one, and start. All right. Uh, you can make a move. Okay, here we go. Well, it's the first sweep for your team, Kostya. Yeah, yeah, nice job, Tricky. <laughs> tricky Drizzle. <laughs> Good technique there at the end. Right. Yeah, Karakan, E6. I know this line. I mean, I used to play it quite a lot. Bishop, D3. Mm. Yeah, this line actually can be tough for... Um, both sides at <laughs> lower levels. There's some strategic mm -hmm. difficulties. Um, you can't hear speaking. Um, uh, Lady in Black, you can't hear us, I think. You should be able. I can even hear how Kostya is typing on the keyboard. 
Yeah, so maybe there's a little lag. So actually this queen b6 is a very interesting idea. Very interesting idea because queen b6 very often comes with queen a6 as far as I know. Mm -hmm. but, but c5, I'm not so sure. C5. What, so what happens now if I push something like c4? I sacrifice the pawn on d4. Is that even a sacrifice? It's a very thematic idea. Yeah, c4 feels like the challenging way. And this is where a lot of my students go wrong. Exactly what I was about to say. They see c5 and they think, oh, I'm supposed to play c3. <laughs> yeah, sort of like a French defense position. Except, right. I mean, black has traded the bishop on c8, so it should be doing good. But I mean, c3 should be still okay. Yeah, knight c6 and... Um... You need to do something. No, I mean, something. It, feel, it just feels like a perfect French, you know, just like Rick C8 coming, like the bishop's not even in the way anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, there's a number of moves. There's G4, there's D takes, and B4. There's many interesting ideas here. G4 is good. I like this. Yeah, G4 is nice. G4 Maybe knight... black should have taken on, on D4 immediately, actually. I mean, first, well, before playing the obvious knight C6, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, C takes, exactly. C takes, and then... then uh... That would have been probably stronger. And now there's this very nice idea for black to play h5. And sometimes mm -hmm. this is missed by white players because he, for example, he plays something aggressive, h5, and black regains this f5 square for the knight. So white needs to do something detailed. Yes. I like this, but I'm not so sure if that's good. Yeah, interesting. Well, I guess he just doesn't want to defend this d4 pawn forever, so decides to take I mean that, maybe bishop b3. That's yeah. a very common idea in the French. Take on c5 and then just somehow try to exploit the awkward position of the queen. I know that after d takes on c5, sometimes black plays queen c7, ignores the pawn <laughs> on c5, and instead attack the pawn on e5. But I mean, I don't mm -hmm. know if that was possible here. I think it was actually. I think that might have been interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, blundered the pawn. Wow. wow, knight e4, knight takes e5. And queen b5 instantly played. Knight uh -huh. b5, but this is not so clear. Ah, there's king d7. Okay. Yeah, yeah has to find king d7. Yeah, king Definitely. d7. Bah. King d7, unfortunately, is a move there. So how many boards do we have in the 13th, right? Mm -hmm. Looks like. King d7, right. nice move. Yeah, king d7 is nice. And there's another pawn on g4 hanging. Yeah. Uh, four, d 3 Hmm. Or it's not going. Yeah. Why not knight x on g4? Uh? I'm pretty sure the pawn was under attack, right? Or I yeah, I think just panicked, just saw he has this safe check. <laughs> so I check on D3. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, that's that's my guess. <laughs> Rook f1, a6, I okay. guess. But I mean, this game is still very much open. Uh, one minute and fifteen seconds for both players. Something yeah. like. And I like um oh h6. I I like that h5 idea here. Maybe even now h5. Oh, nice. yeah. G5. Oh, G5. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is G5. Yeah, H5. But, but that was a very high-level idea, right? To play H6, put the bishop on H4, and then play H5. It's not easy mm -hmm. to spot it. But I think he could have just started with H5 too and, and would have been okay. Um, whereas G5 now, I think it was a little bit... I, I actually, as white, I would have just taken first and then gone bishop g3 so that you could... Uh, Prior playing bishop g7, right. Okay. But but this is, um yeah, now very double-edged, I think. Mm -hmm. I think ideally white wants to something like rook e1 and magically hide the king to c2, b4. Oh, that's interesting. And a4, okay, nice. By the way, Kostya, do you remember how our uh, streamer battle league match ended? I think we lost. I mean, my team lost. I'm trying uh, to remember. No, actually, I don't. I, it it's such a blur. I don't even remember if I was there or if I was like watching it. <laughs> no, you were not there. I think I think there was. Um, 
David? I think David? so. I oh, think okay. So. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't remember at all. Okay. It was almost like, I don't know, four months, five months ago. Mm -hmm. Distant path. The G takes in the four. Um, I, I don't understand this game, to be honest, really, what's happening here. I just understand that Black has an extra pawn, and there's a big fight going on, and 30 seconds left. So, normally, mm -hmm. it's until the first blunder. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to start seeing some blunders soon. Because the players have been playing solid, but you can just kind of tell it's, like, very tense. It's, like, very nervy play. Right. I mean, black is obviously better. He casts the extra pawn, he casts the squares, some bishop d6 is a very solid move, but all it takes like is that. a one mistake. Yeah. Rook f6, six. I like this. Very aggressive move. Unfortunately, it drops a pawn, but I like the move. <laughs> yeah, it drops the pawn on g4. Oh, that's another pawn on h2. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Yeah, Black's last few moves have been very stable, uh, starting with this plan of playing like Bishop d6 and, and Knight c4. So now he's starting to kind of like simplify and do well. But got to keep up the pace. Just got to go, Just I would just play Knight e5. I, like, we have enough pawns. Just play Knight e5, safe. Mm -hmm. Get the rook in. h5 also okay. He's trying to play tricky here. Rook f3, rook f1. A knight h2 was winning already on the spot. There would be this mm. intermezzo check on f1. A lot of checks, yeah. Yeah, but I, I guess black is complete in a complete control here. Yeah, mm -hmm. black is just... Uh... I don't think we are going to see any blunders here. No, I like what black's doing. Okay, he could have taken on c3 there, but he, he is controlling the game. I think this is really important when you're down on time. Like, you don't have to be a hero and, like, take every pawn. Just... Yeah, just centralize everything, keep everything defended. Even if you blunder the exchange, you're still kind of okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but that comes with experience, right? I mean... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And now there's a very nice move. Okay, will he find it? Mm. I'm going to pause. Ah, he did not. Okay, no. Rook d4 was winning on the spot, but... That was good. Okay, now maybe some... Something might happen. As far as I know from a personal experience, knights are one of the most deadly pieces in time travel. They, they can always yeah. jump around, be, become very unpredictable. Yeah, easily. Yeah, knight f5 and some tricky knight g7. I mean, yeah, you never know. Especially, I remember playing blitz games against like old ICC bots. Oh, nice checkmate there. <laughs> Right. And uh, I would play really fast, and I would just hang everything to the knights when playing against the computer, because they would—they would. The computer always finds the knife forks. <laughs> <laughs> Trade the knights first. Yeah. Oh, okay, chess and yeah. games. Thank you for your game. Yeah, it didn't work for right, you, GG unfortunately. Guys. GG. Yeah, well played. And this also means that just Doge, unfortunately, have tied the match. I—I've seen the scenario somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere before, I've seen it before. I told you, I don't want to tell you I told you so, but I've seen it. All righty, all righty. So the next yeah, nice in game. the list is Der Nomad. Der Nomad is ready. Okay, do we have Cartier Tank in the chat? Sombrero? Where are you at? Looks like they're in live chess. They are? Ready, yeah. Ready, steady, three, two, one and go. Let me get the prediction going. So the current score in the match is 2 2. We had a little mm -hmm. help from just Dojo top board because Lali showed up late. Lali, blame on you, Lali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, I'm not mad, but. Uh... We could have used your help maybe next time because next week we are gonna have a sub battle. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. We are gonna have a sub battle against Angelica Chessborn. So, uh. mm -hmm. Bishop of five. Oh, what is this? There's a. I sort of missed the first moves. It was some sort of a Scandinavian. Weird version. 
Yeah, the old Alekhine Scandi. A line that happens when white is afraid of the Scandi, they don't take on d5. And when they're afraid of the Alekhine, they don't play e5. <laughs> yeah. I'm sometimes I'm also afraid of Scandi. I mean, it's such a terrifying weapon. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm... I'm sort of ashamed to say it, but sometimes I play the second move. No, I'm sorry, the third move, knight of three. Knight of mm. three, yeah. Knight of three, Bishop Peter, that's the chicken way out. I mean, avoid the, <laughs> the theoretical struggle, but I mean, everybody already knows this, especially when playing online. I see. No, you, I don't know. You, you got to find your systems, whatever works for you. Right. I like White's position here. He is, ooh, H4. What is this? Yeah, this is Cartier tank. He he's an attacker. Bishop takes h4. Doesn't matter. Rookie three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, thematic idea. I wonder if he's seen this one. That's nice. I honestly actually. can't tell. <laughs> Rookie three, rook h3. Very nice idea for blitz. And yeah. I can only guess if after h6 he's gonna sacrifice on h6. That would be his. Yeah, that's like waving a flag in front of a bull. And now he plays very accurate, very accurately played by the Nomad. Huh. Now, can you play bishop h6, g takes, queen g3, king h7, queen g5, knight g8, rook takes on h6? I very quickly calculated that to be possible. That looked good. I mean, I, I also didn't see why white couldn't just... Oh, there's king g7 if you take twice on h6. Okay, okay. But, but I liked your line. Take, take, check, queen g5. Queen g5 and knight g8, there's rook h6, yeah, and the queen hangs on e7. But I mean, in blitz, it's not easy to spot it. No, but it's it's a very instructive line, because this is like the puzzle rush stuff. You know, I keep going, Bishop Basics, I like this. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, I, I'm not rooting for your team, of course, but I like the spirit. I mean, when I'm always seeing some big sacrifices. Yeah, no, I mean, we just want to see good chess from, from both sides, absolutely. Right. And this is very... Um, I mean, he's very consistent. You know, this is what he's been playing for. Is it possible uh, actually to take? Take, take, and something like... Ah, oh, it's risky. F5 is queen g3. Queen g7, right. rook g6. It loses. I guess he cannot yeah, really take. Yeah, something's coming to, to g6 and king f7, queen g6. Wow. Maybe he can't take this one. Um. Yeah, I don't see how he can take because g takes... Rook h6, there is no rook retreat because of a check and mate on h8. And the only push is the f pawn. Yeah, he plays f6. He acknowledges. I think f6 is a very practical move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like f6. Yeah, but there's another problem, of course. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Ah! <laughs> yeah. He finds it. Nice. Oh, dear. Yeah, tactics on point. He's feeling it. It's like 10 p.m. in Turkey right now. <laughs> yeah, the Cartier tank is in the killing spree. I can I can feel sacrificing pieces left and right. He twice sacrifices the bishop. Bishop takes on h6. Bishop g7. Very nice idea. Yeah. White is only plus two. Uh, it feels more than that. It feels something like plus, plus yeah. five. I don't At know, least, really. Yeah. No, I mean, queen d7, queen e6 check. Looks terrible. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. H2. Okay. I can only oh, revisit this defending moment. Defending the pawn, nice. <laughs> I can only revisit this moment if there was something better. But knight of six, h6, bishop of four. Yeah, I think all of black's trouble started with this uh, not very careful move, knight d5. Mm -hmm. Knight d5 was not a good move, and something else had to be played, something like rook d8, just in case freeing the king's escape towards the queen side. Yeah, now this is, yeah, unfortunately... Oh, you want the evaluation bar? Okay, I can do that. Just a second. Uh, it's on. Uh, you're not gonna see any surprises there. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Plus three something. I don't really need the bar to tell what's happening there. 
Nah? It's distracting? Ah, oh, you don't like the way it jumps, right? Up and down, up and down. Yeah, me neither. Especially when it jumps in the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, and during my games. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. No bar. Now I think I would just trade rooks. And, uh... Yeah, use the queen. But black is... You know, he's fighting. He has this little little setup with the knight on d5. King is defending, knight is defending the pawn and the rook. Actually, I think black managed to achieve a significant progress because white was completely winning with that d-pawn. And right. now? Yeah, I think white must have, must have missed his chance there. But he... Oh, time, monk. though. Time is a problem. There nobody is fighting back. I like that. He's a true fighter. Yeah. Never gives up. No, I mean, this is a very nice picture. Like, everything defended. It's a, it's a nice crystal. Mm -hmm. He could have taken the pawn on c2, however. I think... Why doesn't he take it? Because <laughs> the rook would be undefended. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And just take the pawn on f3. Just think. You have one minute and 30 seconds. You can think. You can spend the time. Use the time. No, I mean, he doesn't take it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. now we're in, yeah, all three results possible territory. <laughs> 12 seconds only for white. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Just don't blunder the rook. Just don't blunder. No, no, no. You need to stop the pawn. I mean, you need to stop the pawn. But it's still. Yeah, at fair. first it was good, the fortress play, but now it's like, now it's too much. Yeah, but even if white manages somehow to prom promote the pawn. Maybe that's not even such an easy win. I wanted three, to say. Three. Come on, buddy. You can think. You have one minute and 20 seconds. You can think. Okay, Rick C1. Okay, now Black is finally like playing chess and thinking about where to put his pieces. <laughs> uh, Rook F1. He collects the pawn, right? Ah, He gives a check. One more unnecessary check. Maybe he wants check and rook f1 again. Oh, he rook plays in the wrong moment. First check and then rook f1. And... Oh, dear. Oh, no. So he's defended. I don't know. He's still, I mean, he still has the queen side. And that's it. Yeah, it's going to fall. It's going to fall after king e8. Yeah, though. So this was um, a big chance miss. But this is, by the way, winning. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, because of this knight. But We'll see. I, yeah, I don't. I don't trust knights in this situation. Knight c three, something like that. Yeah, there you go. Knight c three. Still is quite tricky, especially when playing in time trouble. Yeah, a good rule I think is to try to keep your queen like on the opposite color to the knight. You know, to like avoid hanging it, but. It's hard to. Oh, he blows oh. the queen! No, he oh. missed it. Oh, come on! I just, just, just ninety four checked that okay, queen. Okay, it's running again. Got to move the queen. There we go. Oh, he finds mate. Wow. Wow. Come on, queen a seven. So many go. chances. Unbelievable. <laughs> Eddie, oh. we knew it was coming too. We just knew it was coming. <laughs> no mod. You missed her. I don't know how many chances, buddy. I mean, the last one was so glaring. Can you see this idea here? Oh dear. But okay, I mean, don't, don't be, don't be, don't be mad. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I'd be a little mad. <laughs> Yeah, you missed. You missed. By the way, Nomad, and, and earlier you were completely already taking over the game. And here, when your opponent pushed f6, you could have just played rook f1, just collect a pawn. Yeah, just collect a pawn and play this position for the win. Oh, but okay, I mean, it's easier for us to say, of course. It's easy for us. It's not so easy for you. All right. 
Uh, just a second. Let me. Yeah, so you're GG, leading. Guys, GG. You're leading we the have... match. Oh, wow. Nice. We got a little streak going. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All righty. So, uh, Lady in Black, are you here? Hey, Passpawn. Good to see you. All Lady. right, Blazon, you're up. Lady in Black is ready. Need you to be in a uh, live chess when you're ready, Blazon. We are counting on you. We need to stop the streak. No pressure. Oops. No pressure. But we are counting on you. <laughs> no pressure. Here, I'll just put on uh, MBL Carlson for now for the kids. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Meaning Wave is uh, still. MIA? Um, yeah, they were in the chat just a moment ago, but I don't see them in uh, live chess. So, Meaning Wave, you got to be in the live chess server. Meaning Wave. Actually, maybe we can have um, Dripman play. That's the next board. Yep. Yeah, we can do that. I can. Uh, okay, because they're ready. If it's okay. Yeah. Uh, just Hopefully. a second. Uh, I can. If Lady in Black doesn't mind, Birdsmith, are you are you there? We could try to change the order of the boards because uh, Meaning Wave is MIA somewhere. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lady in Black. Birdsmith, are you there? Just a second. Okay, he's here. Just a second. I'll find a command. Starting the game in... Can I start it, actually, Kostya? Yeah, I think Tripman should be ready. Yeah. Three, ready. two, one. And here we go. All right. Good luck, guys. Make sure to mute the stream if you haven't already. So Birdsmith again is one of my regulars. He has played for uh, for me for quite some time. I'm organizing a lot of, um, I mean, how a lot of I don't know, once a week uh, arenas for the club, and he's mm. a regular. And I remember when we were playing in the Streamer Battle League, it was Birdsmith who was usually the battle decider. He was always the <laughs> drama king. I mean, always he was the final guy. I mean. <laughs> the match is tied. Of course, there's Birdsmith playing the final game. Yeah, so that's funny. He likes the pressure, apparently. That's that's great. He's like the uh, the soccer player with like the fresh legs comes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, look at this opening. This is aggressive. F three. Uh, what what's that opening? This is the uh, the fantasy variation. Oh. So F three D takes. E, knight of six, oh, and e6. As far as I know, the easiest um, approach for black against this weird f3 is to switch to some kind of um, French. Is that correct? I'm not sure really. Never bothered to study it. You know, I think there are different ways. So yeah, e6 is definitely a move. E6, uh, b6. There are some lines um, with like... You could play uh, takes, takes, and e5 is very popular. Mm -hmm. And even like queen b6 is a move. Uh, I actually don't know why it's called the fantasy variation. Uh, yeah, I think just, I mean, the idea for white is to try to get some really uh, powerful attacking chances. Um, so I've always thought fantasy variation, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's slightly condescending. <laughs> it's like your attack is like a fantasy attack. Mm -hmm. but, right. Um, yeah, but yeah, it looks like we got Blazon. Okay, cool. Uh, who do you have? Uh, we have Meaning Wave ah, ready, but they're on they're on the apps. So they're like not sure how to be in live chess on the app. On the app, you mean like from a smartphone? 
Yeah, yeah, from tablet, I think. Oh, uh, me neither. Mm. So, well, hmm. I... maybe someone could send him a challenge if they have the username. I mean, I'll, I'll try to start the game. He just has to be in this app. I don't know how it works, really. And the game should start. Yeah, here, Birdsmith is struggling uh, very <laughs> badly. Okay, we can try it. Yeah, so uh, it looks looks quite an awful position for him. Ah, I didn't notice. He is significantly underrated in the game. He was pushed up in a higher rated category. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, lower rated than his opponent. This sometimes happens. Yeah, this happens. Yeah, he's playing up here. Mm -hmm. A queen e4 looks like a very big threat here. So he'll have to play something like a five. I already see the trick. So C to X95, Queen E4, very nice double attack. But this game is still open. For example, C4, Bishop C2, Knight C5, everything is possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, C4 is really strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't know. I would, I, would just, I was just thinking something like if I was playing this game with white, e6, bishop a6, queen e4, just open the position, bam, bam, bam. Try to <laughs> <laughs> try to hammer it down somehow. It makes sense. So many pieces are there at the king side, but yeah, no, absolutely. But I wouldn't be surprised if he just plays like c4. Okay, goes for e6. Nice. But e6 is a fine move. I yeah. I guess, I don't know. By the way, guys, a disclaimer. Everything I'm saying here doesn't mean it's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to listen to it. You don't have to do that. I mean, I'm just saying my ideas, what I'm thinking there. Not necessarily good. Yeah. So there's like well, scream I mean... in the background. Now he says this, right? Now he says this. <laughs> Yeah. You would find a way to win this game, but yeah, that doesn't mean it would be everyone's way of winning. Right. But now, yeah, the sack is super tempting. On H6, yeah, something is, uh, I don't know, some, maybe it's not even necessary. Something like C4 is a much, much uh, more positional move. C4 and uh, 9G4, and there's some action. Action will start, I guess. Oh, 9G4 is Queen E4, okay. Yeah, but what is done on time? 42 seconds. Queen uh -huh. okay, queenie 3 is a very undecisive move. I mean, this is the move where I'm, I'm not sure what's happening here. So, yeah, that, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, started to panic there a little bit. Now, these games are, are always really interesting to follow because we see like very typical mistakes and patterns like really good attacking position but just mm, couldn't quite figure out what to do and then started playing e6 and 95 and yeah, you know, all of a sudden we are well, like he takes he bothers the piece unbelievable that's a big chance that's a big chance for birdsmith yeah my yeah. man <laughs> like he trades oh, oh that's that's strange so strange that's i would have played yeah bishop f4 is yeah, available bishop f4. Yeah. Now, Birdsmith is in complete control to make an um, unexpected win. Yeah, okay. I don't want to jinx this, but... He yeah, is no, the underdog of this match. By 200 yeah. points. No, he took on the game, so he, he mm -hmm. deserves the win. Rook e4, and that drops, I guess, something extra. Even rook e1, rook e2. But okay, rook e8, that's just fine. That's just fine. And there's even a check on e1 forcing a lot of trades. Rook e2, rook c2 drops another piece. This should be completely winning. Let's see how Birdsmith will manage to cope with the time pressure. Rook e2 instead. And even more trades. Okay. I like rook e2. And now he trades. Rook e1. Okay. Solid. Yeah, solid very solid. Technique. Very yeah. solid. Yeah, I like that. Uh, 
Now that's a pawn with a check. King f7. You can always include your king into game or knight e5 or knight e7. There's so many good moves. Mm -hmm. Rook c2. Not the move I would choose, but okay, I guess it's fine. Yeah. King g7. That's a nice move. Yeah, but no, just a5. I'm slightly concerned about his time management because he is spending those seconds on every single move. The position, of course, is on 93. Do you see that? 93, there yeah, we go. Yeah, he sees it. He sees it. Nice well one. done. Nice GG, GG. Bart Smith, you are the hero. You are the hero of the match. Well played. That's okay, Driven. That's okay. You had really nice position. We were praising your play, and then just somewhere felt like we got a little undecisive or indecisive. I was thinking. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think he was uh, about to uh, have a very crushing position after the opening. He played very well the opening. D five, e takes, c takes, rook e eight. I'm not so sure about e six. It's very tempting. But at one moment, uh, I think he misplayed it uh, and he should have played after 95 King J, something like C4 and Bishop B2. That looked very, very good. Yeah, and Queen E3 mm -hmm. was a big mistake. Queen E3, Queen G2. Uh, this is interesting. He's saying he was looking for the Greek gift sacrifice on move 11. Uh, notice that after Black took on C3, move 11. He spent like 30 seconds on B takes C3, move 12 for White. Move 12 for white. Oh, bishop takes on h7. Wow. King takes on h7. I would feel like, I don't know how you feel about this. For me, this feels super impractical. Like, you have such a good position. Like, black already took one piece. No need to sacrifice second piece. You know, just take on c3. And, I mean, your position's awesome. But you do agree it's very spectacular, right? I mean, there's some crazy, crazy attack going. Maybe it's working. I don't know. It might work, but I, I think it's... Uh, <laughs> not a great choice for Blitz to think and then not play it. You know, if you're right. going to spend the time, then you got at least <laughs> at least go for it. Right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I just don't see immediately what Black could have done here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm slightly lucky for our team. And now the question is, is Lady in Black ready? Um, Once again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, meaning is ready. They're ready to go. All right, she is ready. And if uh, your team player is ready, I'll start the game in three, two, one, and start. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. Actually, I'm surprised that uh, everybody's here because, I mean, last time we were doing the subble, it was every second board, they were MIA. I mean, Mm. They're saying they're ready. We are starting the match. There's error. They're not in the live. I mean, every second <laughs> game. Now, this is so smooth. I mean, everybody is there. It's like... <laughs> yeah. No, it's been great. Feels good. Yeah, yeah, Um Proud of our our folks. It can be, it, it can be tough. Yeah, I got to be like watching the stream, get in live chess, then you got to mute the stream. <laughs> if the game doesn't start, you got to go back to the stream. Oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Saptafsha is saying if bishop c4 was winning the queen for white in the last game. No, no Saptafsha because there was knight b6 for the black. Uh, I assume that that was missed uh, by uh, Dritman. But I mean, I, I don't know for sure. Hmm. All right. So Lady in Black, she said in the chat earlier she doesn't know opening so well, but I think she's doing very good. She's doing very good right now. Yeah, still playing the opening absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. um, now, one problem for White is figuring out what to do with the bishop on c1. This can sometimes get stuck. Now, bishop g4, interesting if Black is going to take or... I've seen I'm some suspect. very big masters playing bishop d2, queen e2, rook d1, bishop e1, and then somehow in the end this bishop on e1 is suddenly the game deciding piece. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, somehow it works, I don't know. I mean, bishop oh. d2, bishop e1, bury it far away, and then it comes striking back at the right yeah. time. 
Now black bishop. backs up bishop f5, so offering another tempo with e4 if I want. I, it doesn't make sense. I think it made more sense to start maybe with bishop f5 first, try to provoke e4, and then play bishop g4 and target the pawn on d4. But having included h3 first, I think white is just happy to already play e4, and she did not. Yeah, I think white could have played e4 and bishop e3 there for sure. Mm hmm. Um, but bishop d2, now knight b4, and now really asking for e4. I guess black is preparing the idea that uh, white uh, wants to play queen e2, which is met by bishop d3. So this is why knight b4 is played. However, I just don't see what's happening after the simple a3. Yeah, simple a3 mm -hmm. or, or e4, as you said, e4, bishop e3 also looks extremely good. Yeah, a3 is a question to the knight. Well, maybe knight d3. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's your plan. <laughs> Bishop e1. I, I didn't mean this moment. I mean, not here. Totally not here. <laughs> Please don't listen oh, no, to knight me. Knight d3. No, missing Bishop d3. That would have been the exchange. Bishop d3, knight d2, no? But still alive. Oh, knight e2. Uh, okay, but it, it's enough. ugly. I agree. It's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Queen d2. Uh, Lady in black, if you're listening, uh, please, please don't. And this idea, <laughs> which I was mentioning, this bishop e1, that's a very deep idea for super GMs. I never understood the idea myself. It <laughs> makes no sense here, really. It it was first rook d1, then bishop e1. But okay, with the rook d1, uh, looks weird. Actually, okay, e5, no. I like this. Nice move, e5. Yeah, that, I like it as well. E5, if D takes, takes, opening the bishop. But I mean, white is still, I guess, doing okay. Yeah, should be okay. As long as uh, she's gonna not miss anything. Take, take, take. Maybe trade queens, play E4, F3, bishop, F2. So, slightly worse, maybe, but should be playable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Knight e5, bishop e5, I guess. It doesn't make any sense to include the queen trade because this would include him to game the bishop. Right. Yeah, but uh, Meaning Wave is considering that. And he did not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. It's a master plan, GF5 Congress. What master plan? Oh, you mean f3, the bishop goes somewhere on h4? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's I like that would this be really nice if I if I makes that happen that would be <laughs> I mean I've seen weirder things work so I'm all for it so Eric D one I mean we are just joking here I mean this bishop on E one it looks awkward but should be okay Rook D one Yeah I guess here the critical moment is approaching because everything is decided in the final minute. Who is better coping with the pressure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all going to come down to this. Yeah, A lot of time. I would definitely consider, yeah, avoiding the queen trade. Just leaving white's queen a little bit awkward. So queen e8. Probably he wanted to avoid some knight d5 stuff. Queen c1. Queen. Very modest. I was, I was considering something like e4 to activate the queen. But okay, I understand. I understand yeah. queen c1. Now, yeah, I would get c6 for black. Yeah, Leda is playing well, Satavsha. She's playing well. She'll find a way to revive the bishop. Yes, there's the master plan. F3, the bishop comes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Bishop c7. So queen e5 is the obvious idea. But it's met by a 4. Yeah, it's very difficult to... Oh, can you goes do for that? It goes for the attack. Can you do that? What about a four here? Yeah, four is, is very tempting. Check bishop f2, more tempos. Ouchie, ouchie, ouch. And she does it. Finds it. Nice. And lady found it. Queen c5, bishop f2, all right. So lady is in complete control of the game, but again, we are down the last 20 seconds. Everything is going to happen. Yeah. 
I guess queen a5 is the only move to take on f5 with a queen, not to ruin the pawn structure. Queen, oh, queen b5 Ooh. drops the queen. Oh no. Oh, she didn't take it, it. unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, I just, she was just focused on that bishop. I mean, she didn't just really so ready, get that. Yeah, your queen's going somewhere. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now blitz starts. We're gonna trade the rooks. Rook e8, nice. Keep it on the, yes. No, 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 you don't want to draw. You don't want to draw. Three. There's a pawn, by the way, hanging on a four. Okay, queen e4, going for the trade. I like that. Yeah, keeping yeah. control. <laughs> Please trade queens. Queen of three, very nice. She's look at this. She's playing very accurately, trying not to blunder anything. Playing solid. Every piece together. Queen takes a b2. Wow, that's very brave. That's another blunder, I'm afraid, mm -hmm. for numerous reasons. I'm pretty okay. sure you can take it. You can take it. No, what you love the rock? Why do you why do you do that? Uh, oh no. Just panic. Yeah, that must have been the panic. Oh lady. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was very, very close game. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already know how this game could have ended. Should have. <laughs> should have. Could have. Should have. But okay, I mean... I'm so sorry about this uh, final blunder, but I, I imagine you were already so low on time. Was it the moss slip or was it? No, I oh, won't yeah, have when... stroke. No. When the clock is ticking down. Yeah, it happens to everyone. Yeah. And oh, it was a mouse slip. Oh, it was a mouse slip. Yeah, that oh, was no. that was a very ah, oh, she intended to play rook d1, I guess. <laughs> she throws the rook. <laughs> and oh, rook. rook b1 is yeah, it's a bit bit too far. Rook d1. Okay, she says in the chat she confirmed she wanted to play rook d1. She didn't see the rook is under attack. Rook d1 would, would have been just fine. It would have been Rookie just fine. Screen. Yeah, so, but, uh, okay. I mean, thank you anyway for playing. All right, who is next on the list? It is, um, who is it? Who is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, 73. Are we in the chat? Ready to play? CJ Rebeck, are you there? CJ Rebeck. CJ Rebecca is here. That's good. Yaye means egg in Croatian. What about that? Can you can you comment on that, Kostya? What's that? Yaye means egg in Croatian. Huh. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 I mean we have a Croatian <laughs> player. <So. laughs> Alright, is it ready? Um, I see them in live chess, but I don't know if they're ready in Twitch. Let me know, Yaya, if you're around. Oh, ready, ready. Sorry. All right, all right. It's Let's okay. Do it. It's okay. Starting game in three, two, one. Uh, let's rock. Okay. CJ Rebecca is playing with white. Oh, again, he is low rated. I guess he was pushed up. We are going to be against light underdogs in this matchup. So, no pressure, CJ. You know what to do. Last time we had two Londoners playing against each other, Kostya. And can you guess what mm -hmm. they played against each other? Well, I have a couple of guesses. My first guess is the London system. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My second guess was going to be the English opening. <laughs> oh, God. yeah, the English opening as well. Uh, I didn't think about it. I was implying on Londoners. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Right. All right. So, a lapin. A lapin it is. Yeah. 
Now this one can be pretty dangerous at lower levels because white gets this easy attack on the king side and black has to know what they're doing here. All right. Yeah, knight c3 is, I think one of the core ideas is voluntarily making this weakness on e5 and something like queen e2, queen e4, queen, e queen g4, checkmate on h7. Right. Yeah, and blitz, this is unpleasant. I know this from personal experience. What? Hmm? It should be five. What, 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 what is this? I think that's what they call a cheeky move. Just like, you don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> All you know, it's confusing. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, it definitely surprised Black. Yeah. Now what to do? Take on d4? Probably totally possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's thinking about this, definitely. Like this he doesn't accept solid. it. I like it. I mean, it's like there must be something, something under this deep idea. So better just avoid the theoretical discussion. Head to a normal position. But I mean, it was possible yeah. to take the pawn. I think so. I think that was just a straight bluff. And now Black doesn't call it. Spend some time. <laughs> Bishop d3. <laughs> oh, it's like, uh, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, there's a pawn on d4. I mean, you can take it. Yummy. Oh, I see. Wow, that that is that's a that trick. Very tricky. That's a trick. I mean, you don't want to waste two tempos like that. I mean, if you want to do that, instead of bishop b five, just play some useful moves like rook e one, rook b one. It's the same right. idea. Okay, let's be careful here. Bishop of six. All right, solid. Are there still, still way to, ways to blunder this bishop e three? You mm -hmm. can still take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, yeah, objectively, I would definitely like Black's position. We can go like knight b4, b6, get this blockade going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like after bishop e3, of course, uh, Black doesn't want to take uh, how many times on d4, because there's going to be discovered check, bishop takes on h7, and Black loses the queen. And Black typically rearranges the knight on d5. Yeah, bishop b2, I like this. Yeah, that's... That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my chat is talking about the London system. I initiated this uh, discussion about the Londoners and the London's opening. Uh, uh, to be honest, I mean, I think it's slightly overplayed, uh, mainly because of Magnus. He started to play it. I mean, everybody felt like uh, the pressure to play it as well. But I think there are other interesting openings as well not only london yeah yeah so many good lines out there queen yeah, but people just stick to the london Ooh. i actually made a video about it on the dojo youtube channel and it's not the problem is not the london system itself the problem is the london attitude it's this attitude of just making the same moves in the opening whether you play like the london system or even like I see this a lot with um, even like the close Sicilian, just kind of repeating the same moves over and over again. So it's not about the opening itself. The opening is absolutely fine. I mean, the, yeah, like world's best players will play it over and over again. Carlson, Aronia, and like all these guys. But um, yeah, lower levels, I just see players kind of trying to stick to their kind of like training wheels a little bit too long. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys got to try to play some different structures. Yeah, I think London is quite a um, difficult opening to play. The London opening. It's very mm -hmm. um, structure-based. So requires deep understanding. Well, difficult, yeah, to play at a high level. But for beginners, they like that they can just play like E3, C3 in every position and then like not really oh. hang anything. Okay. Which which I feel like is just not the right approach. You got to be willing to you know take some space and uh, take some risks. Okay, yeah. finally black takes. Nice. Yeah, and uh, CJ was relying too much on the tactics. I think he was focusing too much on the idea of uh, playing IG5. But I like this last move, Bishop C1. I like the idea. So Bishop actually, C1, yeah. Yeah, but there's something happening there. I don't know. I mean, maybe even Bishop H6 and Queen H5. It's not very easy. I mean, from a practical point of view, it shouldn't be anything. But... Um, no, both players playing this one very like logically. 
Um, now Bishop, take, yeah, I mean, very consistent. He could have played queen h5 as well, but he goes for it. Yeah, so g takes, queen h5, king g7. I don't know what's happening there. Probably there's nothing, but a knight f6 check first. Okay, that's interesting. Can be tricky. And then knight h5, queen d2, attacking the pawn on h6. There's still plenty of tricks. Mm -hmm. And we are down on the last half a minute. Queen d2 looks good here. Oh, it's so good, actually, because king g7 is meant by knight h5. He plays queen h5 immediately. Mm. I guess it's... I guess he could go back king g7, yeah, but... But that's a exactly brave move. Wanted. That's right. a very brave move to make. It feels very dangerous to position the king on g7. And this is why, actually, queen d2 was better, because king g7 would have been... Yeah, he, he didn't go for this. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. Now knight d4, huh? Okay, we should be six. He's getting everything out. Good. Ooh, oh, there's something here. happening there. Queen g5, queen h6, knight f6. Very big threats. And knight b4. Ooh, knight b4. I'm pretty uh -oh. sure he can take the piece, right? Yeah, he can take. <laughs> oh, no. All right, keep playing. Oh, this is Don't everyone's game. This is everyone's <laughs> game completely. Man. Queen e7. Here we go. Blunders are starting. And takes, take. takes, and one move. Nice check. This is a very nice check, and that's like a mate. Ooh. That's a mate! That's, that's a, a mate! Nice mate. Wow, nice. what a turnaround! CJ! That was a nice game. That was a great attacking game. I mean, I have to give you a lot of credit for the spirit, for the attacking. I mean, but don't do this again, right? This bishop b5. <laughs> bishop b5, bishop d3, that made no sense, really. But uh, I like the yeah. attitude, attacking, going forward. That was a GG. All right. GG, guys, GG. So that's 4-4. Four, four. That's 4-4. Four, four. Nice, nice. nice. Very right. close, very close. Very, very close, as it should be. And the next match, we have Earth against Lycaon Pictus. I hope I All right, it Pictus correctly. is ready. They are ready. Earth. He should be here. There's no way he is going to miss this. Oh, Irv is playing. All right, take it easy. Take this. <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, hey, I have to, thank you. I have to switch out a player. Is that okay? Can I do that? You have to. You want to change the players? If they're in the in the lower list, if they still have yet to play, I guess it's fine. Yeah, Irv is uh, yeah. Irv is ready. Yeah. Can I? Um. What would be? Should I like replace them in? the spreadsheet yeah sh you should, should unselect and select again as long as it doesn't mess up with already played uh games so that it doesn't change the order of the games gotcha gotcha yeah. so uh, it should yeah, be lower board, lower uh, than already played games otherwise it's yeah, gonna mess it's up bottom board right okay i think it should be all right so i'm gonna unselect senior jesus yeah thanks cj alpha canis and yeah we're all set all right, all right, everything is set. You change the players, okay. So it's like uh, coach's tactics, right? Yeah. Okay. Lick no, pick. they just had to go. Oh, he <laughs> had to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, starting the game. Three, two, one, and here we go. Cool. All right, good luck, guys. Yep. Good luck to all of you. And CJ, again, thank you for your cheer. I appreciate it, really. I, I, I can imagine you enjoyed your game, really. I, I, I did. I did, definitely. No, that was a nice game. That that Alopin opening, that is a perfect weapon for CJ. Just, like, natural attacking plans. And, yeah, puts you in a nice position there with white. Mm -hmm. Okay, Irv with the modern... Irv is doing something that I don't know. I mean, oh, a6. Yeah. What is mm -hmm. it going to go for the tag operation with b5? 
Does it even Looks work like? Here? Or maybe the hippopotamus with b6, bishop b7, and b5. That's, yeah. That's like a statement. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> bit, but I mean, normally they play b5 and there's a knight on c3, not without the knight. Right. Without the knight there, I think white should go a4 and just get mm -hmm. some easy easy pressure. Uh, Maruki one very solid. Maybe he'll play for e5. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So black needs to play e6, knight e7 to stop the idea. I know you probably, Kosti, agree that... Ooh, knight f6, that's, that's very risky. But Kosti, you probably will agree that uh, Hippo line is very difficult to beat. You probably know this. You've studied the, the, the line with the engine. And the engine typically says in the Hippo, usually white is enjoying so big advantage. But then practical game, and he tried to beat it. It's difficult. Right. Yeah, I know you, you play someone who's like a specialist in this opening and they just know all the tricks. It's like, it's very tough, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, it's really hard. And I mean, I mean, Hikaru will play this one and just beat anyone, you know, mm -hmm. so it's like, yeah, not, uh, not easy. No, I think, I think the evaluations for Blitz are different <laughs> for some of these openings. Right. Okay, rookie three going for a very direct attack, but the Fianchetto is solid. I don't know if this is going to work. I was I was paying more attention on e5. Oh, right. knight h5. That's a pawn on d4. Wow, nicely spotted there. Yeah, it's a nice move. Well, if you are for funny tactics, there is knight takes on h7, rook h3. Mm -hmm. Ah, not today. Bishop g3. And this is a free pawn on d4. And there's another on b2. Yummy. Yeah, and this is uh, this has worked out. So what White should have done was play c3 somewhere in this kind of setup just to make sure this pawn is defended. And c5, okay, not yeah, I the guess move we were considering. Notice. He didn't notice. <laughs> because c5 is the traditional move. You just, he just didn't notice there's a pawn hanging. Right, right. Uh, last time, Irv blundered the queen. No, wait a sec. He was doing very good. He blundered the mating tool, something like that. Mm. So... He is looking for some sort of a redemption. And mm -hmm. uh, he wants to show. He wants to show. I believe he wants to show. Well, yeah, I mean, Black's position is absolutely beautiful. I mean, every piece, it's like perfect uh, Dragodorf now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dragodorf is a combination of Sicilian Neither and Sicilian Dragon. That's the popular title, Dragodorf. Bishop E2. That's a knight hanging in H5. I guess knight G3 has to be played. Mm hmm. Yeah, and he yeah, I'm surprised plays. he didn't take this one, showing a lot of uh, a lot of restraint. Yeah. And probably White will take with the rook because he wants to justify the rook's placement on e3. So I'm gonna try. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> I told you. I mean, I played rook e3. I have to continue with rook g3, rook h3. Try to get to the mate. But makes sense. Yeah, but practical wise, I guess it wasn't a good choice. And now he sees, yeah, now he sees that the pawn on e4 is under attack. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Bishop d3, that's probably right. Right. I mean, white still has some attacking ideas with h4, h5, so don't rule out this rook on g3 could cause some troubles. Yeah. And Rooks there's always, always the knight chances, as I like to call them. <laughs> the knight chances. <laughs> yeah, rook c5, I like this move. Pretty sure that Earth has played something similar before because this maneuver doesn't jump into your attention immediately. So he probably right. has played the idea uh, previously. Knight h4. h4. Quite obviously aiming for some hostilities. Mm -hmm. And Earth says no, not today. Yeah, but kind of at least achieve something. Now it has this weakness, can target. You mean on uh, g5? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, still bishop f6, king g7, suddenly it is black. We can try to take it over. I'm um, not sure if Earl will find it. e6, okay, that's, I guess, also good. e6, d5, yeah. Right, c3. Yeah, so far they're playing... Pretty so Now I'm curious if Earl will find us uh, bishop f6 and king g7. It's not very obvious. Mm -hmm. 
he might be thinking something like queen e7, rook d8, d5 maybe. Yeah, bishop f6 is not obvious maneuver at all. Yeah, he played d5. d5, good. Yeah, only thing is black is spending some time, but I would, yeah, I would want to see these moves like quickly, like bishop f6, king g7, just quickly like improving the position. All right, a4. Well, white is doing the right thing. I like this for white, just mm -hmm. trying to keep it messy. We are still down a pawn. Yeah, now he, Irv, is, Irv is gonna regret he didn't pay attention to the pawn on uh, g5 because there's something hanging at the queen center. And again, he's burning the time like there's no tomorrow. I mean, already 30 seconds. Concerned about yeah. this? Yeah, that's a lot. 25 seconds. Come on, Irv. Yeah, he plays g4. Okay, okay. That was. g4 is good. Yeah, that's a good move. We just have to play a little faster. A little faster wow. than this. <laughs> Queen takes a6. Nice pre-move there. <laughs> he knew that would be possible only if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he plunders the pawn on a6. Oh, oh no. I keep missing uh, this. Here we go. Here we go. Man, we saw a few double misses today. A lot of mutual blunders. Queens, rooks, everything. Yeah. I mean, they trust each other. That they're not going to blunder anything. Mm -hmm. King of seven, no, in blitz I wouldn't make this move. It's a very exposed king. Maybe rook eight was more careful. Right. Another pre move, that's cost a pawn on a four. Now this is everyone's game again. I think already it was. Mm -hmm. And now White is happy to trade. I don't think Irv objects really. Yeah. Ah, that's a that's a blunder. Okay, okay. He could have taken with the bishop on c3 immediately. Okay, this is going to be tense. This is going to be tense. This is very close, but I think I think black is very happy to have the queens off the board. I think that helps black a lot here. Right. Yeah, now the bishop is looking great. Knight on f1, very passive. Maybe king f7 here. Nice, nice. All right. He controls. Okay, okay. He yeah, knows. Yeah, is in very good shape. Yeah, he knows he's in control. Okay, takes the pawn with the bishop. That's the first time Black captured something with the bishop. And <laughs> bishop c5, I like that. Now rook b2 is coming. All right. Uh, no, no, no. If I was better keeping the pressure against the pawn on f2, but okay, okay. Irv, I think he sees the idea that he could pressure the pawn or push the d pawn. That's also a good idea. D pawn would be very winning. Yeah. Oh, Bishop E1. <laughs> that's that's weird. He doesn't see Bishop D4, but he sees Bishop E1. I mean, okay. I mean, sometimes it's interesting. Okay, that's that's a win. Nice, nice. He goes for the checkmate. G3, come G3. on. G3. Oh, uh, you missed it. Come on. <laughs> by the way, there's a rook hanging on A7, right. by the way. <laughs> Second chance? No. no. <laughs> There's a rook. There's a rook, buddy. There's a rook. Okay, not anymore. Okay, it saves it. Oh man. Maybe now okay. he'll find it. G3 rook h1. No, he doesn't want it. Okay. Bishop c5. He knows there's mate here. He's just he can feel it. There's some square it just needs to cover. Now the king is getting out. Okay, back to now time to just win. Just try to win this somehow. Means. Yeah. On G3. G3 feels to be played. Although G3, Rook takes E6. Some stalemate ideas. So maybe oh. he's just worried. He's seen too many Eric Rosen videos. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we have no draws uh, so far. No draws. That's very interesting. Yeah. I just take the ball on G2. Promote. Promote. Yeah. A lot of um, uncertainty. I guess he didn't really expect this game to turn uh, so quickly in his favor. Uh, sometimes this happens, so you're like surprised this happened and what you're supposed to do here. Okay, he sees the idea. He sees the idea. He has to promote. Oh, pre-move, Rook G2. Okay. Yeah, kind of a <laughs> shot in the dark there. All right, he's going to keep fighting. All right, the G-Pawn is promoting. Yeah, Irv is going to do it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to stalemate here. Rookie two, very nice. That's very nice. That's technique. nice. That's nice. Or... And the pre moves at the end, good, good stuff. Good That's stuff. like he believes in the stuff, right? G three, G two, G one, pre move mate. By the way, how many yeah. times, Kostya, have you pre moved yourself to a mate? Uh, many times. Many times. Okay. 
Yeah. I mean, only when it's like forced. I never do it if it's not uh, okay. not forced. Yeah. Um, All right, Turf. Yeah, GG, guys, GG. You did it. Okay, the best stuff is still coming. We have the uh, lowest four boards. Usually, they are deciding the game, the match. <laughs> Sandra is ready. Okay, here we go. Sandra is ready. All right, Forsyth plays. Uh, I think we are ready on our end. I see them in the chat. All right. And uh, yeah, 5-4, guys. All comes down to these last four games. No pressure, guys. No pressure. No but pressure. It all comes down <laughs> to these games. <laughs> oh, Forsyth plays. I think you got to get into, into live chess so we can get your game started. Hey, Woody, you saw what Irv did, right? He was the man. Although he missed the mate a couple of times, but uh, he got the job done. Yeah. All right, Sandra is ready. <clears throat> ready. All right. Ready, steady. Three, two, one. Oh, who's challenging me there? You're not supposed to challenge me right now. Okay. Running a sub out here. All right. Sandra, you're to move. She plays. Okay, here we go. That's good. Yeah, so far, unbelievable how smoothly it goes. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, that's always nice. Games mm -hmm. start one after the other. This has been great. Also, yeah, I got to say again, shout out to Irv for the spreadsheet. Amazing stuff. Yeah, Irv, he is the man who created the spreadsheet. I mean, guys, you're not seeing the entire stuff behind it. So you're seeing this uh, score score table. But if you would see all of those fine details that are hiding behind it, it's just for us. It's just click, 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 and everything is working. That's what yeah. it is. No, I mean, people don't know. The, the way it's been working is like we input your chess.com username, and then the sheet actually goes and pulls your chess.com rating, presumably using like chess.com's API or, or something, like how the, uh, the Discord bots work. Which is very, very helpful for us not to have to go and look everyone up and make sure you're the right rating and like <laughs> all this stuff. I mean, no, it really saves us so much time. Right. Absolutely amazing. So this is yet another Alekhine's defense. We had so many Alekhine's, so many Skandis, something along the lines. I don't know, maybe more than half of the games, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and very simple approach for Black, just giving up the bishop um, and going after the, the d4 pawn. I don't like how Sandra rushed with this h3. Normally, you want to have the other, another knight on d2 so that after h3, bishop f3, you can take with the knight. But okay, I mean, should be really be such a big issue. Is the pawn on d4 under attack even? Sure. That's... Uh -huh. Kind of hanging. Yeah, Kinda. it's not clear if I can yeah. yeah safely take. I would probably just castle here as black. Just keep the pressure on. We're still threatening. Um, so there's going to be like queen e4 ideas, but... Sleeping, sleeping my skin is asking G6. why Alekhan is represented so frequently here. I wish I had the answer there. I mean, I think it's pretty random. I don't know. Yeah. It can be popular. I think a lot of people like it because it gives you kind of like a simple play. Um, okay, knight takes d4. Well, very Ooh, brave decision. Very brave. Very, very brave. I think you can already, after bishop takes on d4, play queen takes on b7, short castle, and queen e4. And queen. Is that possible, actually? Maybe black But what about leave. just simple queen e4 check and f4? Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that you could just take the piece. Oh, oh, bummer. Yeah. Oh, but Sandra, she's found it. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> we'll see. Did you see that? All right. Oh, man. Well, this is why I was thinking to take on d4 with the bishop, but then even that, why well, can go queen e4 check? Same and then here immediately, bishop on takes on d4. Yeah. Yeah. I, I felt that it was a very risky choice actually to take it. So something right. like short castle was. Um, more accurate, but I mean, for us, it's easy to say. Yeah. F5, 
But no, uh, wine doesn't have to take, of course. It's a try, right? Yeah, it's a try. Short castle ends the game immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Don't castle. <laughs> castle is good. <laughs> Something is happening on H7. No, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna blunder it. Yeah. Sandra, last time she was. <laughs> that was a quite a funny story because uh, she was playing against uh, Woody Incognito here, <laughs> apparently, and and he was the gentleman. He mm -hmm. was the gentleman and gifted Sandra a draw in a completely winning position and in the end it turned out to be almost decisive moment of the match because prior to the final game we were having a, a tie seven against seven <laughs> okay wow. so so sandra was definitely among some of the decisive games last time and right now she's looking very good she was yeah queen e3 very uh very accurate but of course, Black has no choice here but to lose the piece because if castles, um, in case this wasn't obvious to everyone, white would not take on e5. We're actually walking into a mate here. That's why we were kind of chuckling <laughs> about this one. Um, but just Black not, does not blunder. Just don't blunder on d3, please. That's a bishop hanging there. Bishop takes on f5 is good. I, yeah. I seem to remember that Sandra was struggling in the time trouble. She was mm. having some problems. So so at the moment she's doing fine. I'm just hoping that things will be under control until until the time trouble. Mm -hmm. Rook if rook if I don't like this move. It weakens the first rank. Ooh, knight c4. That's a check. There's many checks. Yeah, many even... checks, right? Many right. checks. Rook yeah. fade check also was a possibility. But I like the spirit, but also we should say black was down to 20 seconds there. So uh, just uh, down on time and not enough there to uh, to calculate. Yeah, I know. I imagine some of you guys are, are nervous out there playing these games. I think it's totally normal. I'm always nervous whenever I play like one of like the speech has uh, matches with, like thousands of people watching potentially it can always be like pretty nerve wracking wrecking so it's very very natural to be nervous but the nice thing about these uh sub battles is that like you kind of get some experience playing with some eyes watching because like that is going to happen throughout your career sometimes you're um playing in an important event or like important last round and you know people are watching your game or watching your game online and you kind of have to get used to playing with something on the line and still believing in yourself and, and trying to make good chess moves. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I, I still remember the first, the major tournaments and matches I was playing my, I mean, I was shaking completely. I just couldn't stand the pressure. And then after mm. some time, it was already quite obvious. And uh, yeah, coping with the pressure, that's of course, uh, okay, that's a mate in one, in two, I'm sorry. That's of course a big topic. Is she gonna see? Should, should be able. Oh, no. Sandra, come on. That's a mate. That's still a mate, uh, by H6, the way. That's still, still a mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not a blunder, but it's still winning. <laughs> and I guess he loses. Yeah, he loses some time. Okay, GG, Sandra. GG, Sandra. Uh, well played. All right. Oh, four in a row. Look at these streaks. Yeah, these streaks. I mean, what was <laughs> happening there? Four losses in a row, then four wins in a row. Uh, let's not make it three losses in a row. That would be painful. Yeah, no draws, by the way. Still no draws. That's incredible. Yeah, GG, guys. GG. All right. Okay, next up, Clark, DH, Nordovic, ready. Sweet. Uh, Thank you. You guys are on top of it. Janko Brasko. Janko Brasko, I haven't seen you for quite a while because I saw you in the beginning of the stream. Oh, you're here. You're here. Okay, that's good. He's ready as well. Wow. So going so smoothly. Okay, here we go. I'm starting the game in three, two, one. And let's go. 
Okay, Clark is not online. Here we go. I already uh, <laughs> told you this is too smooth. I mean, somebody got not to be online. Nordovic, you got to be in live chess, my friend. This was too good. This was too good. Oh, wait, did our... Did some of our pairings get... Oh, some of our pairings got shifted. For some reason, I'm missing a player. Hmm. Um, you changed one of the players, remember? Yeah, but then everything was fine. And then something happened. I'm not sure what. Oh. Uh, because we had a... I don't know. Hmm. Well, it should be Clark DH playing um, the next board. And then we had we had Leafia. For some reason, their rating has gone. Maybe she has I'm played sure some happened. games in the meantime and lost some rating. No, is that possible? Hmm. Well, one of my players, their nickname is now Red. Does that mean anything? Yeah, it means he is not found. The name is oh. wrong. Huh? That's weird. Uh, must be a wrong nickname. Oh, that's what happened. But hmm, for some reason, I thought, okay, let me correct that. I feel like it was working earlier. That's why I'm like, if it if confused. it doesn't mess up with the higher boards, of course, then mm -hmm. it should be fine. Leafia, what's your chesscom username? Huh? Seems like I hey, copied Bertsman. it right. We'll have yeah, to thank you, Birdsmith, as well. Take care. Um, no, guys, I didn't change anything on my end. It was like, it was fine, and then and then something got shifted. Um, Leafia, let me know your Chesscom username because for some reason it's not finding you. Although earlier it was, maybe I'll try to recheck. But um, in the meantime, if Clark is ready, we can start their game. Uh, yeah, but if it doesn't mess up with the order of the, order of the matches. Oh, I mean, hopefully not. Uh, I mean, so that, that be... could be an issue. So it would be good that uh, hmm. you could you could input the name and see if it's going to change the order of the of the of the boards. Mm hmm. Hey, Bursmik, have a good appetite. Bursmik says basically. his dinner is ready. Oh, lucky you. We have to work here. Mm, I don't want to mess this up. Okay, but these guys were supposed to move up. So let me try this. No, that's, that's not going to let me do that. Hmm. Basically, I have to move all my players up. Like Max should be on board four and then board five and so on. But I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, you just change something at the top boards. Hmm. There is a player missing on your fourth board, and for me, it's a missing a player. Yeah. Can you undo that somehow? But I don't know. I don't know why it's missing because Max should be on. The fourth board. I guess it's not putting him there because of like the rating, but earlier he no, was. No, 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 no. They already play. They shouldn't be chained. Yeah, exactly. Weird. It doesn't let me edit it, guys, because this sheet has like, well, you can't just edit any <laughs> any of the pages because if I mess up some of the formulas. But, so but are the lower three boards, are they correct for you? So lower three boards should. No, because fourth sooth they just played against uh, Sanra. Oh, so everyone should be like moving up a board. Earth, help. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Are you still there, Earth? Maybe he's finished already because he played the game happily. Um, can you try to undo the actions you did? And try I'll to try, see if... but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't change anything. No, you definitely I mean, did. Changed... There's something missing. 
Well, no, I, I added a player earlier, but I replaced the player. It was all fine. Like all the players showed up in the right spot. And then, and then I just noticed that like a player was missing. So I don't know what happened. Oh, do you have another sub who could potentially play in the uh, next next game? Yeah, our, our next player is ready. Um, he's in the chat. It's just the maybe the isn't right. Mm. So four suit plays already play the game. Um, just a second. I'm not sure what I can do there. Yeah, I just don't know how to move my players up, maybe. Uh, you can move them manually. Yeah. I guess. Um, <laughs> maybe we can just uh, try to go with... Yeah, but that's that could mess up. That could mess up with this... Uh, or maybe just uh, how 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 high rated is your player of uh, which you want to play against uh, Yanko? Uh, our next player is uh, ten eighty six. Ten eighty six. So maybe we just uh, run it uh, run it uh, manually. It's not going to be yeah. forced to place. It's going to be your player. Right. And I'm going to pair them against Yanko. So it's just going to be a wrong information, this spreadsheet. But uh, I mean, everybody's going to know. But I just I just need I just need to have. I just need to have his just dot com nickname. Uh, yeah, so that's Clark DH. Ah, but he's already playing on the second to last board. So you want. Well, no, he was he got moved down. He was supposed to play against. Uh... Janko. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, just a second. Um, yeah. Clark DH. Okay. I'll try to. I'll try to run the match. Yeah. I guess it's a little messed up. But okay. Yeah. We'll try to fix the uh, the pairing. I, I can fix the pairing so, uh, just fine, but I don't know how to fix the spreadsheet. Clark DH against Janko Brasco, right? Yeah. All right, let me uh, double check it again. Uh, Yanko, are you still there? We are going to pair you against Clark DH. For some reason, uh, the spreadsheet is wrong. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it's not picking up one of my okay. players. Um, I, I feel know. like that's what's going on. Like okay. my top player is red for some reason. And earlier they were they were green. Um. But before it will start, okay, okay. Let's just let's just start the game. Let's sure. just start yeah, the game, we and we can always fix it later. So it is Clark DH against Yanko Brasco. Slightly some problems in the spreadsheet, but it's okay. Starting in three, two, one, and here we go. All right, cool. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, we are not really worldwide experts there in these spreadsheets. We'll always blame her for that. <laughs> no no not earth's fault <laughs> of course it's not earth's fault and uh so i guess we are gonna move up alpha kind of Ma major is gonna play against marco batman right and then there's another player so yeah i have the last player it's leafia official but yeah the spreadsheet is just not adding them to okay okay the that's list okay. i think that's what's going on because earlier um yeah, for some reason it's not finding them. Same thing actually with Dur Nomad. Like earlier they were in your list, but now they're like at the at the bottom if you see them there. Mm. Yeah, I don't see him in the list, by the way. That's weird. Yeah, Dur Nomad is showing in red. That's interesting. Yeah, must be some issues, but okay, don't worry about that. Let's focus on the games and uh, what do we have here? Yeah, we lead 6-4, Marco. We lead 6-4. That's the good news. Uh, yeah, we see the same idea again. Bishop takes f3, unprompted, and then knight d4 is taking the square. People like this one. Yeah, Irv is here. He's going to check it. He's going to check it. Oh, great. 
Yeah, something is wrong there. Some players are showing in red. Um, yeah, my top player. Yeah. And yeah, just a second. That's weird. They don't really like bishops, don't they? Okay. G4, <laughs> bishop e2, takes, takes, knight e4. You can have it. Okay, okay. E5. Oh, I like this. I like this. I'm, I mean, I'm always a big fan when it comes to attacking on every flank. I mean, black is going to storm at the queen side. B5, A5, B4. White is going to do exactly the same at the king side. H4, H5. Usually, mm -hmm. pretty exciting games. Okay, looks like it's fixed. Thank you so much, Irv. Oh. Yeah, now all the players I think are in the right in the right spot. Excellent. Thank you. Sweet. Okay, e5. Yeah, I was thinking another plan for black, like knight e8, knight c7, knight e6, knight e4. H4. H4. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. I believe after h4, h5, h there's going to be g4. Mm. No, something like b5. Yeah, since you said, it's literally, since you said A, you have to say B. Yeah. <laughs> I just pushed the A pawn, now you have to say the B pawn. So, no choice really. Otherwise, what you're doing here. Yeah, chess.com wasn't returning the data for those two players. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. For some reason, um, mm -hmm. wasn't picking it up. All right, Queen D7 wants to prepare B5 safely. If you'll have the time, that is... Yeah, maybe, maybe he will. Yeah, this game is very sharp. It looks a uh, peaceful position, but uh, there's nothing peaceful about it. I mean, if you castle opposite mm -hmm. sides, I mean, there's nothing peaceful about it. Mm. Ninety five. I like bishop g5 there. I would have tried to get the d5 square for the knight. Now, now I like black's position. Yeah, b5, b4. Mm, I don't know. Still there's h5. So the question is, how is black going to react against h5? Is that's he true. gonna panic? Is he gonna do what? I mean, okay, G4, that's interesting. Black is wasting no time. I usually, when I have, uh, at least according to my experience, it comes down to who talks it, uh, the other opponent into uh, defending. And now black is taking the charge, moving B4, B4, and white has no time to react against this. Yeah, he goes it. Yeah, he goes at h4, h5. It's a great, great idea. Because it's very difficult. What is this? What is this heresy? H6. Oh, <laughs> there's g5. For... So incoming. I mean, ooh, ouchie, h6 ouchie. should have happened on the previous move instead of b4 if black wanted to uh, keep it all solid. King b1, no. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's starting. Now, h6 wasn't exactly hanging because hg, fg, you know, the queen was hit on f3, but white could have played g5 there or takes, takes, queen e4 was also interesting. Yeah, uh, this is the one's kind of walking into. This is a false moment to play protective chess. I mean, a bishop h6. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is going to be fun. All right. <laughs> There's going to be something. Okay, a takes and beat, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Go for the mate. Queen a4, queen a1. People are always so afraid to sacrifice. You see what happens when you sacrifice? They don't take it. <laughs> they don't take it. Yeah, they're afraid to take. Queen a4 feels to be exciting move to be played. There's a mate on a1. I think... Wow, what a change. They must have hurt you. It went from like being super reactive to not reacting at all. <laughs> <laughs> right. So h6 and g6 is played and now black is thinking. That's good. That's, That's good. good. Yeah. yeah, he's spending time. Got the full minute there. Oh man. I understand this is also for you a critical match, a critical game. Because if we win this, we are already winning the match. Yeah, we're on must win territory here. Or at least draw. <laughs> Yeah, but black is taking so much time here. So much time. Okay, queen a4, finally he plays. Okay, a4, that's nice a move. That's a great move, yeah. King b2, I guess, is... Where's the mate? But <laughs> I don't see. Well, there's there's e4, bishop takes g7. Oh, come on. I mean, e4, that's a very difficult move to find. Bishop g7, bishop goes away. 
Yeah. But no, don't flag. No, no! keep flags. Okay. He probably thought he's getting mated after Rick B8. I mean, could be. <laughs> but this was this was quite quite a sharp game, and I'll very quickly rewind what happened here. I think White was ahead, and after Queen D7, he should have pushed immediately something like H5 or or G4 H5. Instead, he started to lose some time. 95 G4 King B1, and that cost him cost him the game. Yeah, too many tempos in this position with opposite sides castling. This is the type of thing where you just got to go g4, h5, bishop g5, or just h5. Um, yeah. Yeah, I totally All right. Agree. Yeah, this, this. GG, GG. Yeah, this marks for us the seven point, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, but nice we job. still have nice two job. games. Yeah, we still have two games. So, we... two games, guys, we can make it close. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a Marco Batman against Alpha Cadis Major. Okay, I think Alpha is ready. Marco? Marco has been very active. Yeah, Marco is ready. Marco is ready. Hello, Yoko. Starting the game in 3, 2, 1, start. Let's do it. Here we go. E4, knight f3. Ooh, something very positional. <laughs> I don't know, knight f6, knight g5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, oh, no. here, we go. here we go. Knight g5 on bishop c5. Can we ask for this? Uh, okay. Okay, d4. What was this line titled after knight g5, bishop c5? I saw some videos about it. That's so, the uh, the Traxler. Traxler, Traxler yeah. attack. Yeah. It's supposedly not so good, but it's playable. Yeah, for sure. At this level, very playable. Okay, d5. Ooh, I like that, d5. Uh, just a second, although I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, just e takes, just take the pawn. Right. No, I mean, objectively shouldn't be working, because white has the first move in the game. <laughs> we should be able to... Uh... Find something, but we'll see. Like he's going for some. Be really sharp. Yeah, he's going for some gambit. A knight e5. I thought about knight e4, but Marco finds knight e5. No, this knight on mm -hmm. d4 is in trouble. Knight f5, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there's so many ways to make this exciting. Five. This is not scotch, is it? Except after this is not scotch. Yeah, not quite. Bishop d6, that drops a piece. That's a free piece right there mm -hmm. on d4. Yep. Just grab it. Oh. He just missed that. Yeah, so there's still plenty of possibilities to misplay this. After short castle, white means not a blunder bishop e5. Mm -hmm. Short castle, short castle. Scotch is knights. Scotch is knights? What do you mean, Scotch is knights? I don't know. Scotch is Scotch. I mean, Scotch is you play d4, e takes e5. That is Scotch. And yeah, there's some discussion. What is the Scotch? Hmm. In the uh, chat. Ooh, bishop e5. Yeah, bishop e5. This is not going to be good for black. Queen e7. Yeah. Happily trade. Um, mm. In the previous battle, Marco was one of the heroes making a huge comeback. He was completely lost. We were completely dead lost in the match. Something like trailing by three points or two points was it? I already don't remember. And he was down with a soul queen against a <laughs> queen, a rook, and a knight. And he managed to take it down to winning endgame somehow. Don't ask me how he did it. So Marco knows how it feels to be a hero. Yeah, um, yeah. Earlier, queen e seven was possible, but why would just defend like f four, bishop f four, and and the knight would be safe? I think probably f four is the best way, so we don't get hit with knight e seven. Um, but yeah, I definitely agree. When we're down a piece, we don't want to just trade into the end game. It kind of makes it easy for white. Instead, we would want to just castle and and play for more initiative. I guess the opening goes kind of like a scotch scotch gambit actually with d four. 
But um, yeah, main scotch is just d4 on move move three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, black's d5 felt a little gambling. I mean, playing something like that is possible, but you just have to play in the right. Uh, yeah, a little right too way. too aggressive. <gasps> oh, oh, Marco, I mean, you just take the bishop on e6. I mean, come on, buddy. No, this is a free free bishop there on c4. Bishop's not pinned. This is Black's chance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here we go. Come okay, on, Marco. You game. can think. Okay. Still, yeah, pretty nice position for White. I guess Lots he rushed. Time. He just rushed. Mm -hmm. Not e4 check. King g6, I guess, is the only move which doesn't drop anything. He found it. Yeah, but Black is so low on time. I guess this is what distracted Marco. He saw that uh, Black is so low on time. He's up a piece. He's up a pawn. Oh, okay, I mean, I'll somehow manage this. And boom, you blunder a piece. Yeah. Now I just got to play quickly as Black here. Make some moves. Rick d8. Rick e8. There we go. Yeah, I mean... Still very difficult hanging. Yeah, rather unpleasant. I think the biggest issue here for Black is the time. Yeah. Being so low on time. Okay, now he drops it back. Now he drops it back. 96 was a sneak attack. Like a ninja. Attacking the knight. Mm -hmm. With the knight, the bishop. Yeah, unexpected. Okay, good technique here, says. H3, very good. Or yeah, H3, also. that's the careful move. That's the case. <laughs> so the smash is all about the streaks, I see. Yeah, it, like any like blitz match, <laughs> huge <laughs> streaks. Right, like so a bullet match. Yes, this is interesting because we were underdogs in at least two games. Yeah, that's interesting. Bert Smith and who was the second one? Uh, CJ. CJ, yeah, CJ, yeah. That was a very exciting game. Yeah, so I guess we were slightly lucky in some decisive games. But there was actually there was a few underdogs like um Max won his game and Flox as well, a little bit underrated. Mm -hmm. Um it's actually a couple of upsets. Oh. That was a rook. Go. Nobody needs All a right. rook. Okay, okay. Okay, if we keep this A pawn on the board, you know anything is possible. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Check it. Oh, it's still there. Oh bummer. Yeah, rook a1. It's still there. D7. All right, push. Nice. A4. <laughs> now for black, it's easy. Just go forward. Yeah. And a b4. That's good. Oh, okay, C2 Marco coming. knows the stuff. Knight c2. He sees this. He sees uh, he can take the pawn. Yeah. No, he's not sure. I don't want to give f2. Yeah. Ah, he's not sure about this one. Yeah, about the pawn of two. I mean, he could go rook c7. That would be a real, <laughs> a real class. Oh move. come on, rook c7. There's no <laughs> way he's nice. gonna pick it up. Oh no. Rook c7 would <laughs> imprison this rook, and rook b2 is just knight a3. That's yeah, a... Like rook c7, f3, yeah, and then just like. If you would rook even C3. mention, I would even notice this move. I'll tell you honestly. <laughs> knight a3 again. Again. Still not so easy. I mean, yeah, extra piece, but all the pawns are on the same side. It's very easy to misplay this. And Alpha Kenis is fighting. Yeah. Rook He's gonna... uh, and he oh, trades. No, no, you don't want to trade. Mm -hmm. That might have been just a bad pre-move. Maybe he didn't mean to. He just kind of had the move ready. He wasn't expecting... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go. There goes the win. <laughs> oh, man. We might see our first draw. Now, this is already not winning. It looks very close to drawish, but I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, still, Black could definitely still lose this. Uh, in fact, if the Rooks were traded in the wrong moment, like on F6, that would that would be probably winning, right? I have a feeling the pawn on h5 is going to fall as well. Yeah. Or maybe okay, not. Now I'd maybe playing for mate. Ricky 2. Knight g6 and some stalemate ideas. This would be funny, actually. 
Oh man, that would be great. A rook G nine G six rook G five. Yeah. Um, not so easy anymore. Oh, there it uh -oh. is. Uh oh, uh oh, this is everyone's game now. Yeah, so he was just playing for that mate, but not, not in time right now. Just get the rook out of there. <laughs> Don't worry, very good. Don't there's no mate. Me. There's no Before mate. Us. A lot of checks. Yeah, there's unfortunately no mate. Yeah. But I can understand. I can relate to Marco. You give a lot of checks and pray one of them is a mate. Right. Now black definitely has a chance with white's king kind of getting shouldered a bit. I mean, white should be careful. I like rook g8. That that should secure it. And now white should, should never lose this. Yeah, but you can just take, right? Mm-hmm. He doesn't. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Why? Because you can Looks give like a check and take later. That's why. <laughs> Always <laughs> no, repeat. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Marco. What are you doing? Oh, this no. is a knight. I mean, no, he Playing needs to be. the win. Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, now very dangerous. Where's the king going? That's the wrong direction. Right, second pawn. Man, first a pawn. Now this one. Oh, no. That's the wrong direction, buddy. Oh no, all right. Well, nothing nothing for certain. Still has to promote this pawn. Oh, this is it. Here we go, give the check. No, no. give the check. <laughs> no, oh. you are so safe. <laughs> but this is still winning, right? Is it? Not it sure. should be, yeah, but, but just give the check. <laughs> Okay, tricky. He's not afraid. Everything is defended. Oh, okay. Let's check the technique. I He's going to test them. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's worth the, uh, the time scramble. Yeah, but plus two seconds. Yeah, Marco totally blew it. He had so many chances. He didn't have to lose this. Lesson yeah. to be learned. Lesson to be learned. He is a youngster, I think. Something like 12. I don't know. Sometimes the experience comes the hard way. Yeah. Now, I feels like Black knows the method, but is mm, a little bit too cautious here, right? I This is why I don't really like the... I, I like this method. I like the box. The box is just very, like, yeah. intuitive. You don't have to time tempos or look for this like weird zugzwang. Ah, he knows it. I, I see he knows it. He knows the box. Now, now he's in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Rook c3 is going to follow. Yeah. He recognizes the idea. He was just wasn't sure he can afford to waste some tempos. Now, this is mm -hmm. a tricky moment. Oh, okay. This he's not where, sure. Yeah. He's not sure. Maybe rook b3. Yeah. Rook b3 is right. good. Rook b3 Turn is it good. around. And now the king is cut off, and that should be a mate. Let's see. Oh, he got lucky with the tempos. He didn't have to figure <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, Marco. It's... Wow. What, a, turn what a turnaround. What a turnaround. But I guess it is what it is, right? Oh, dear. Yeah. All right, we got one. That's nice end job, of three. Alpicanus. Very resilient. Very resilient. Marco, you totally blew it, but I mean, okay, we are not going to blame you. Yeah, don't fall into despair. We are winning the match already, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> you should be able to win this game normally, but okay, I mean, don't don't worry about it too much. It's brutal. We put it all on the lower boards, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> all righty, so it's uh, Le Leaf, yeah, official against Eddie. Eddie, are you still there? Hopefully, it looks like uh, Leafia is ready. Leafia is ready. Ed is here. Okay, Ed is here. Leafia is here. And I'm starting the final game of this uh, bell in 3, 2, 1, and start. Here we go, guys. Last game. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Marco, don't despair. That's just a blitz game. Just a blitz game. It's all good. All good. No card feelings. Yeah. Main thing is to just try to uh, 
learn something from each game. I mean, I think, I think that's the biggest thing. Remember how lucky you were last time and how your opponent must have felt. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I also feel like, you know, the luck, it always evens out. Some games you'll get lucky, some games you'll get unlucky. It's all about just trying to continue to make good decisions. All right. Yeah. Mark is feeling good. He's okay. Wow. Alpha Canis never studied the rook end game. Dude, you got to study that end game. That could have been a key point. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy, guys. I mean, nowadays you can you can practice the end game on like uh, chess.com slash drills. Just play it against the engine. Make sure you can do it. Very, very useful. Yeah. Right. High priority. And this should be the structurally the wise I really like wise position. This is a very mm -hmm. easy position to play with this weakness on d five. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. Something like short castle, queen b three, you just get the spawn. And normally as far as I understand, black is trying to build up a position with a bishop on d six. Put something like knight e7, c6, so that he can focus on attacking at the king side. So, uh, so this bishop on b4 feels to be not really doing much there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a good time to reposition. I, I always like this plan, bishop d6, knight e7, c6. Bishop d3. Too bad there's d3. no knight b4. Mm -hmm. Well, I could consider bishop h5 here. Knowing move. Although, wait, is d5 hanging? Hold on. Yeah, it, it wasn't really before. Now it's hanging. Now it's official. Now it's hanging. <laughs> now, it's hanging. <laughs> now it's hanging. A big pawn on d5. Yeah, bishop takes on g6. Queen takes on g6. Knight e5 taking the pawn over the comfort. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So far, we've seen a lot of misses. Yeah, yep. hanging material just unnoticed. That's one of them. Yeah. So I mean, you know, people always they ask for advice, like how to get better at chess. And we tell them, like, you know, do tactics. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do I, like, <laughs> get better? Like, notice this things. Yeah, notice yeah. things. That things. That, that would be a great start. Still the pawn on the e5. Nobody cares about it. Okay, why does care about go. it? Nice. Okay, so knight e5. Now oh, this bishop is hanging. The fork on c7 is hanging. So something like bishop d6. Mm -hmm. Protect both. Yeah, that's place. Nice. That's good. There we go. Good move. But I mean, still, this game is wide open with one pawn here and there. I don't think it really matters much. Now, Nordovic, for your game, you just needed to get the attack going faster. So it was all about like the tempo of the game. You need to just play g4, h5 much, much quicker. Especially that move, king b1. Mm -mm. <laughs> that just walked into the, the attack <laughs> for your opponent. Leafy official is trying to think of a game plan. I think that's a good idea. Normally, I'm also when I'm playing, I'm trying to spend some time in the games just to understand which direction I'm gonna take this game. So yeah, that's that's a good a good time management to allocate the time for the proper moments. Understand sometimes the players are rushing, not thinking at all. So we had, I think, one or two games when the players were completely rushing, missing a lot of chances. You don't want to do that. You want to use your entire time. But I mean, I do understand it's difficult to do this because a lot of people are uncertain how they'll play in time trouble. Yeah. Yeah, in general, I just try to stay at least equal with the opponent because once you get low on time it's always just always a problem actually that's one five. of my rules in the classical chess i, I mm -hmm. try to do this i try to not to go below my opponent's time yeah that's that's a, interesting you mentioned this yeah, it feels yeah. more, more secure deep inside when i'm doing okay on the clock right because like yeah i mean it, you can spend more time, but there's no like guarantee, right? That you'll be playing better. So, but it, when you're down on time, there's a guarantee that you're like much likelier to blunder. Right. So it's, yeah. I think time management, definitely a big issue for a lot of players. 
a5 i like this move here black is uh, seeking some activity knight a5 knight c4 this pawn on a3 is a weakness this is still everyone's game for sure so rook a1 yeah white noticed that this pawn is under attack marco says we can learn from the games i love playing on stream gets deep feelings thank you Knight b4. That's a good defensive move, putting the knight on b4, protecting the pawn on a3. Yeah. Positionally wise, white is doing very much fine. Yeah, no, actually, really solid game. Ooh, word, the knight is kicking. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. B6. Where is it going? Yeah, maybe rook a2 there was a killer. Trapping the knight. Yeah, but that was a deep move, wasn't it? I mean... Oh, of course. <laughs> you understand? Exactly. On a2, it has to be, yeah. So rook a6 is a very aggressive, very active move. But I think I understand yeah, Eddie's so. idea. He wanted to fork. Knight b3, rook b1, knight d2. That was his idea. That was a nice trick, yeah. Hmm. Okay, we are down on the last 30. Oh, oh d5. d5. Nice. Nice move. Nicely very spotted. Nice. So d dex is possible. I guess the safe move is take with the rook because I mean you never know it might be under attack. Yeah. I have a feeling the game is gonna end with the fork on e seven. <laughs> the way it's con exactly. okay, maybe not, maybe not. No, it takes takes knight g six rook d five. Let's go. <laughs> it's still possible. Yeah, those tricky knights, tricky knights. You never know. You never Here we know. Go. I mean, they're so resourceful. Nah. Yeah, okay. Still a good move. This this rook is nicely positioned. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh what is oh, this no. knight doing? Oh, knight oh no! Knight 7 wow. That's a career for the knight. Knight h8, knight g6. Okay, okay. This is... Oh, man. Although I couldn't say the knight on b3 is better. Knight a1? I think that's Fighting a problem. Back. Okay, don't go rook c3. <laughs> <laughs> I said the game uh, is gonna end up a fork. I didn't expect with this fork really. Yeah. And that's oh, amazing. Nice oh what an end. Wow. Wow, what an Tactics end. Tactics on fire at the end there. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Alright. Yeah. That was that was quite something. Yeah, so the final score GG. is uh, eight to five, but I wouldn't really say we're dominating the match. It was very much up and down. And, yeah, uh, very exciting games. Yeah, very exciting. No, GG, Leafy, you played you played very well. Uh, by the way, Kostya, there's no draws. No, no draws. draws. No draws. It's just it's just streaks. So this match was all about the streaks. It was two zero, two against four. Then it's five wins in a row, and then finally we exchange blows. Yeah, that was quite, wow. quite incredible. Uh, nice. nice job, guys. Nice job, everyone. Yeah, so thank you, guys, that you're here. By the way, Kostya, are you going to play in the uh, arena? Arena Kings? No, I, th I think I'm done for now. I'm going to go get some work done. Then later we, we got a lecture from uh, Grandmaster Jira book for the U.S. Chess School, so that'll be fun. Uh, are you playing, Arthur? No, no, I'm not playing because oh. it's uh, awfully late here already. It's uh, 50 minutes uh, to 10 p.m. And uh, yeah, by the way, this is quite unique because me and Kostya, we are we have a time zone difference of 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours. <laughs> That's insane. I mean, for me, it's a yeah. late evening for Kostya. He just woke up, basically. So yeah, that's quite, yeah, quite exactly. amazing. Quite amazing. <laughs> So this is literally the only time that works for like both of us. <laughs> yeah, so this was the pretty much the only only time. Yeah, right. Yeah, so thank you guys that you're here and of course uh, I would like to give a special thanks to all of the uh all of the subs that participated for my yeah. team and a big shout out as well to Kostya and Chess Dojo. Thanks. And thanks. The, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, and, and their team, of course. Uh I, I really appreciate that you agreed to do this match and uh, special thanks to Tals Tactician uh, who substituted our player on the top board. So that's just Dojo player. 
and our player Lolly was missing. <laughs> Mm. He showed up slightly late. So I guess he'll do it next time. And uh, all in all, it was quite exciting. And uh, yeah, thank you for the for, for the bells. Yeah, and I guess I'll see you another time. Yeah, super fun match, uh, Arthur. Thank you so much, uh, guys. Make sure to follow GM Nick Sons on Twitch if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks to everyone for playing. Uh, really exciting games. Hope we can do it again. Right. Right. All righty, all righty. Then, then I'm guess. Are you are you still continuing the stream? Are you finishing? Looks like um, David is coming on. Actually, this is the best part of having like three people. Is that <laughs> I'm done. Someone else can come on. I think that's either David or Jesse. I don't know, but it looks like someone will be streaming from our end. All righty. Then maybe I can. Oh, Jesse, cool. I can. I'm finishing yeah. my stream. I'm finishing my stream, and at least I can do. I can raid those few people here from my chat over to your channel so that they can continue watching David. David. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe you could just give it like a minute. I'll log off. Jesse will come on, and um, okay. You feel okay. free to raid whenever, whenever is good for you. All righty. All right. I can do that. Okay. Thank you, Kostya. And All see right, you. Thanks. See you another time. Okay. Thank you. See ya. Okay. Take yeah. care. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, just a second, guys. Let me um, update me the. Um, uh, oh, sorry. For some reason. Uh, just a second. I'm going to remove it here. Oh, why is it showing? Um, oh, weird, weird. Okay, I'm, um, for some reason it's not removing this one. Yeah, anyway, I'm finishing and I'm reading over you to Kostya's uh, uh, channel over to Just Dojo. So thank you that you are here today. And my next stream is going to be on Sunday. Yeah, thank you. And rating you. Yeah, apologize about this technical glitch. <laughs> For some reason, I cannot remove it. Yeah, so you see two versions of me. Take care. Uh, enjoy the evening. Again, thank you for participating and take care. Yeah, have a great evening. Goodbye.